Hello and welcome to my time at Porsche, a farming simulator RPG game developed by Pathia Games. And well, I didn't really know what to play today, so I just want to like, you know, do something. So I guess, you know, I took a suggestion for someone from Twitter. And I guess I'm just trying this game out today. Uh, it seems to be akin to Harvest Moon. Right, Harvest Moon or like Stardew Valley. I, I well, in my head, I, I wanted it to say like Harvest Valley. That makes no sense. Anyway, um, so I don't know. I, it doesn't really seem like a game for me, to be honest. But like, I wanted to give it a shot. You know, maybe maybe I'll like it after all. But probably won't be a full playthrough. Most likely, it'll probably just be like a you know a few hours first impression to see what it's like and and all of that and everything. Right. So let's do that. I don't know who the people on the right by the way. Who are these people on the right? They all look the same. Anyway, press new. New game. All storage boxes in your yard can be managed by the storage drop down interface from each. Okay. Okay, we gotta make a character. That's what you need to do. Um, You know, these days, for whatever reason, I always play as female characters. I don't know. I, I, I always do that, I guess. I don't know. I It's because I for so long, you know? For so long, I've played just male characters. Whenever there's like a, a chance to make your own character, I always chose a male character. But now I'm just bored of male characters. I don't know. So I always choose a female character now. Uh, maybe I'm just weird. Anyway. I think I'll go talk with the research. I think I'll just... I'll get the... Something. Sounds very British. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. I think I'll, I'll go talk to the research center first. That sounds American. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. They might think of something. Okay, I don't know. Well, that sounds very generic. Uh, I think I'll go talk I think, uh, I don't know. Not to make fun of the act. I don't know. Uh, for some reason, it just seems over the top to me. I think I'll go talk with the research. I think I'll go talk with the research center. Or I could disable the player voice. Does that matter? Uh, I wonder if that matters. I think I'll go talk well, with the research I'm, center first. Maybe a, is there an option to do, like disable the player voice later or something? I don't know if it matters. Anyway, uh... Okay, well, there's that. Uh, hair. Okay, I don't want to spend too long on this. Again, this is just a first impression. So, I don't really want to, like... A million years here. Um, I don't know. There's, like, a way to change the camera. I wish you could, like, you know, look to the side. I guess you could look at the back. Hmm. You know, I like the ponytail. It's interesting hair. It's, like, the hair looks... It looks, it looks short at the top or in the in the front, but then actually it's a ponytail. Uh, sure, why not? Oh, you can do this. Oh, okay. Uh, they keep it short actually, and then mm, that clips actually. Sure, why not? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I don't know anything about fashion. Uh, what's this? Oh, hair. Oh, blue hair. Can I get can I get Super Saiyan hair? I look like uh Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. If you don't have. Lawn Super Saiyan here. Um, I can rotate. How do I rotate? I'm, I'm, I'm removing the right analog stick. It's not doing anything. So, oh, R2, R2. Okay, there you go. Because I didn't see the controls there. Well, there you go. Eh, to be honest, I, I, I'm, I'm going to say it now. Like, the art doesn't really appeal to me. I don't know what it is. It's, I mean, basically, it's just not anime. <laughs> I think the big, that's the biggest reason. It doesn't look anime enough, you know? It looks, I don't know, I mean, it looks like a Western art style, which is fine. I'm not saying it's horrible, but it doesn't appeal to me, right? I don't know, it's okay, I guess. Anyway, what am I doing? Hmm. And like, how do I... The UI is a little weird. I think maybe it's because I'm using controller. Maybe I'll use, maybe I'll use a mouse. Yeah, if I use a mouse, it just it seems... Or at least for this part, maybe a little bit more... You know, it makes more sense. You have to use a mouse. I don't know, just... Ironically, nobody ever uses, like, a normal, like, hair. Hair color. They always use anime Technicolor rainbow hair all the time. In most games. Uh, random... Linda. You know, I'll just change the name. Just change the name. Yeah. I actually don't usually like to self-insert. You know, whenever there's a chance to make a character, it's just, I don't put my name. I put, like... Some random name, but I don't want to think about that right now. I just put, let's just put slider. Why not? Which often I actually I'm considering that that's usually what I would put for a nickname, I guess. 
with some person with big lips. But often, because uh, a lot of games, when I try to put my full username, it doesn't like, it's too long. You know, size slider is too long. So I'm like, well, maybe I should just short, short it to slider. Can't really use it like on the internet because it's way too generic of a name. Somebody probably already taken it in many places. But, uh, I don't know. Can I be like... Kale White? Can I be Red? Okay. Can I be an Orc? I just mean orca, by the way. Uh, I'm not gonna do the, you know, you know how every YouTuber does this. They do always do this, this silly thing. They choose like a, I can choose all the wacky options, and they look like a clown. <laughs> I don't do that actually. I, I actually, well, I mean, people can do that if they want, but for me, I don't like doing that actually. To be honest, I hate, you know, I hate like messing up my game like that, where it's like, oh, hee hee, I'm a super silly. I don't know, whatever. Just. Basically, try to whatever my skin color. Basically, um, face. I don't know. I don't know if these faces appeal to me <laughs> necessarily. Yeah, apparently, there's crafting. I mean, obviously, there's crafting in this game. Apparently, yeah, I'm not really in, into the crafting, but I don't know. Um, whatever. Actually, I don't know. Let's choose that. I don't like the- I gotta be honest, I don't like the- Why is the eyelashes like that? Why is it red? Why is the eyelashes red? I don't- I, I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, uh, upper face. Oh, I can do this. Ah, so it's like, kind of like Dark Souls, sort of. Well, when I think of face creators, I think of Dark Souls. There's probably other games that do the same thing. There's like sliders and all that. I don't know. Oop, oop, oop. Small eyes, big eyes. Oop, oop, oop. Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh, <laughs> it matters. Very close? Oh, very far away. I don't know, whatever. Um, eye color. Uh, I don't know. Ironically, I always, I, I'm very boring, I guess, but <laughs> it, it's, it's funny because I, when I was younger, I always felt like, oh, I had to be super unique of these characters. They have to have like red eyes and like a scar and it's like super edgy. Ironically, these days, I just want a character that's it's normal. Can just have a normal character, please? I wish there was a... Hmm. Is there a way to change the eye color without using all this, this slider? I just want brown, you know? Or... Like, I just want a brown color. That's all. I guess this? Uh, am I colorblind? I can't tell. I guess this color? And the eye color too would be like... I don't know. And that. What does it look right though? It looks like still looks purple. I don't know. Is it just me? We just go darker. Uh, I can't. I don't know how to do eye color. <laughs> Whatever. Just choose that. No, just be normal. That's all I want. Lip color. Hmm. Nose. Nose size. Anime nose. Big. <laughs> you know. This. This is how you. This is how you tell if it's an anime. Anime nose? It looks, well, it looks really weird with the art style. Or like Western cartoon nose, you know, just have a big nose. Actually, it looks better with big nose. I don't know. It fits the style more, I guess. Eh, that's fine. No size, small, big. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spend, too, I'm spending too long on this. But, well, I feel like everyone does in the character select screen. I'm never gonna actually start the game. Mm, more rounded face. I feel like a round face looks better. Smaller chin. Anyway. Lip color. Mm, I don't know. I don't want like big red lip. <laughs> I want a like, big red lipstick for some, no reason. Uh, just like a natural skin color, you know? Just natural lip color. Not too dark. Not too bright. Just fine, right? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. Uh, decoration. Okay. You can have freckles, I guess. If you like freckles. I, I mean... I mean, they look cute, I guess. You put F freckles. But it's kind of weird because it's like... It's like... Paint, you know? It's not real. I guess. Um... Yeah, I put nothing. I just put nothing. Again, I wish I kind of could change the eyes. What's with the eyes? Is it going to change the face again? Other options, maybe? 
I don't know. I don't like the... Like, what is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is. This, like, thing around her eyes. I want to get rid of that. Or at least make it a more natural color. Why is it red? Is it just her skin? <laughs> is it just her, like, meat? Maybe it's just meat. That's kind of weird. Isn't it? Is it just me? Looks kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's just meat. Okay. I think it's just meat. It looks like eyelashes, but it's just meat. This person has less of that. Oh, well, this person has less of that. Look, it's not red, but I don't know. Oh, did they reset the faces, by the way? I don't know if we reset the my options. No, it's the same. Man. I don't know, it's weird. These look weird to me. Um... I guess this is fine. Okay, whatever. I think we're, we're good. I spent too long on this. Choose my birthday! Well, don't dox me, but... You know, with this information... Uh, well, actually, it doesn't matter. Oh, there's, there's no, it's not real. Okay, it's not a real birthday. Oh. Well, uh, there's, like, there's no, like, you know, actual months of real life. What is it? Like, there's, there's like, I guess, four months? Is that what it is? Four months? That's it? Summer, spring, summer, on winter. I guess I'll put, uh... When would, it, when would be my real birthday? And, like, which season would it be? I guess? I mean, I guess it would be summer. 17th. The 17th summer. You never know, I'm actually quite paranoid about, like, story showing you stuff like that, like, like, like a birthday or whatever. Because, you know, that's how people, that's how people get into your account security, you know? Like, what's your birthday? And then they, like, stuff all your credentials into, like, a, a website and then somehow get access to your account, you know? It's a real thing. Uh, but it's probably out there already, you know, my actual birthday, but whatever. Doxing is a real concern? It's a real concern to, like, have your information out there. Anyway. Oh, we'll go into Porsche, I guess. You know, this game, um, again, it reminds me of Harvest Moon. Well, uh, it's basically like a 3D Harvest Moon Star Valley. Oh, oh, there's a cutscene. Wow. That wow. Was beautiful. What are you gonna do there? Ruin diving? Ruin diving. <laughs> Like in Zonkey Zero. It's a dungeon crawling game, like no? That. We get someone like you once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. Again, it's the weird... I don't know what it is. The, her eyes, you know? It's like the meat. I guess it's like the meat. Of your eyes you see under her eyelids it's weird anyway i don't know i'm so stuck on that hi hi presley how do you do ah good to see you again hope you had a pleasant journey from bonarok right that's quite far yeah anyway I yeah <laughs> just yeah workshop, so if you would please follow me it's pretty close tutorial time what it's like I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah all the time. Why did you say yeah all the time? Uh, the water too far. Okay. Uh, jump? A oh, circle's jump. That's kind of weird to me. Auto run? And then dash. Uses. Uses. Oh, it's like it's like Gishin Impact dashing. Use your stamina. Can I climb like a Genshin Impact? Climb. No? I can kick. Eh. Eh, I got experience. Good. Animation's a little stiff. I feel like. Is it just me? I don't know. I feel like it's, it's lagging a little bit. <laughs> when I ever do that, is it? I don't know if it's my, oh, it's my computer. This game doesn't look like it's the most graphically intensive game in the world, but... It could be my computer that's making it lag for some reason. Shop. It's your shitty, you know, starting farm where you gotta like renovate everything yourself. Looks homely. Okay. Now then, here's a letter from 
your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Okay. And you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This is all so sudden, so I don't have much time to tell you figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not be, uh, might not look much like, uh, blah, blah, blah. it might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I've left my workshop handbook that details how I create things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy, Pa. Here's the workshop handbook of your Pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a oh. motor license right away, you need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Why Why did Presley's like voice just suddenly like have a different microphone? <laughs> like I think they recorded it on a, a different day or like a... I don't know. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some it's like they, they it's like an addendum, you know, they added that after. Bye, Presley. Somehow. Thanks for your help. Alright, we go to sleep, I assume. Do we start a day? I'll press X. Start a day. Oh, my head hurts. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. Good. It's, it's a big house comparatively to like our tiny body a compared like our big head tiny body chippy ish sort of thing uh fix gap use three wood to fix the gap okay so i gotta like craft some materials so it's like minecraft as well is it like minecraft it's like, it's, it's like minecraft again which i never really played myself i just remember everybody everybody else everybody else played minecraft i didn't i didn't really get the, the hype Anyway, uh, it's a Chinese company that either published it or made it. You don't know? Hmm. No, I don't know. Probably could look that up. I know there is a publisher for this game. I I forget what the publisher was though. Anyway, uh, double checking my frame rate. Am I like lagging? Cause maybe because like, I'm streaming as well. Maybe I should like lower down the graphic quality. Uh, is there an option to do that? Just the sound just stopped. Uh, I'm gonna lock it at 60 actually. I'm only recording at 60 anyway. And uh, graphics quality, just say, let's say beautiful, you know, confirm. Okay. I think that's, that's fine, right? I don't, I don't know what it is. It's a little, a little laggy for some reason. Anyway, uh, check mail from Porsche Times. Hello new subscriber, this is the Porsche Times, responsible for the city government and the local commerce guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We're on monthly publications, so will be sent out for the first day of each month. If you have any questions, concerns, please don't hesitate to visit our office, the main office, main street. I oh, just read all that. Really too quick. It's weird that I don't know. I don't know why it's so weird, but pressing circle to jump is weird to me. I, usually I press X to jump, not circle. Okay. So yeah, collect some wood, we can explore, it uh, seems to be pretty big. We can like go anywhere, I guess. But is there like a time thing? Oh, there is time. So bottom right, there's like a time. So you probably can't stay around, you know, can't walk around forever. You need to know where you're gonna go first. What's this, treasure chest? That really is like Genshin Impact. It's just Genshin Impact. Uh, worn gloves. Okay, so there's combat, by the way. Okay, dodge roll, like that, okay. And attack. We're not. I can't really attack though. How do I activate? No, not that. How do I? No, not that. Let's dodge roll. I should know how to. How do I equip? Also, the music just stops. By the way, when I go to menu, it's so, so ominous. Just, just nothing. Lag, lag, lag. Oh, skill tree tutorial. Good. Um, how do I put these worn gloves on? I assume they are a thing to use, but I can't, don't know how to use it. Use? Put on myself? No? Hmm. It has stats. Attack plus 5, melee critical damage plus 100%. Use to attack. Hmm. Oh, like that? Okay, it'll be in inventory. That's weird. In that case, I want to put it on, uh, if possible, just put it on the first bar. 
Yeah, like that. I have to use D-pad, by the way. It's weird. I use D-pad. Punch things. <laughs> That's funny. I get a little lag. I don't know. I don't know why it's a little bit laggy there. I mean, sometimes with the first time I do something. All right, time to destroy the first. What are you doing in my property? Get the... No, okay. I can't do that. All right, who are you? I'm Emily. Your hey, you're Emily. It's so nice to have new people move into our town. You should drop by my ranch sometime. All right. So there's a dating sim as well. I mean, that's that's part of the course for like any kind of harvest moon sort of game, I guess. RPS, rock paper scissors, chat. I love Granny's farm. You love Granny's farm. I love life. I can spend a whole day tending the crops and playing with the animals. Good. Good for you. Can we fight? <laughs> oh, we can fight. <laughs> that's interesting. You know. Okay. So this game has a lot of options, I guess. <laughs> Now this is what I want. Just fucking get the hell off my property. Ah, this is how I imagine farmers act. They just punch each other. Level eight? Oh yeah. Well, I'm just better than you. I, just, I don't care if you're level eight. Can I do a charge attack? No. J oh, no ah. Jab, jab, ah, jab, jab. No. no. Stun lock. Stun lock. Come on. Eh. 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 <laughs> this is the first thing I do with this game. Just freaking just punch people. Good. Amazing. I don't know. I don't, ha I don't have to do this most likely, but... I don't imagine the combat is all that complicated because it seems like I could just stun lock this person. <laughs> Any parrying? Can I parry? I don't know if you can parry. You're dead. Good. Now give me your money. Yes. Seven gold. Good. I, I just mugged that person. Amazing. Anyway, was I, I was saying something before. Oh, yeah, I was, I was, I was going to say, actually. Okay, this game is kind of like... Um, uh, Harvest Moon, right? I remember when Stardew Valley was a thing. You know, when it first came out, people said like, Oh, it's like so good and everything. Yeah, I remember. And, uh, you know, as if it's the most innovative thing in in the world you know as people have never seen it before and i'm like you know it's it's just harvest moon you know that i feel like no one's ever played harvest moon even though it's such a classic i never played that much of it but i, I think i played one of the early ones i can't remember which one it was i think it's the playstation one or like the game boy one or was there a game boy one i don't know you know it was an interesting concept at the time i'm just kind of like because i already played harvest moon i'm like well that's it you know it's like I don't, know, I don't know what it is, but for me, I'm like, I've been there, done that, you know? So that's why I don't really play a lot of these kind of games. But, you know, especially for long term, because I know these games are very grindy, you know, in a way. If you want to think about it that way, I guess. But that's kind of the point, right? It's supposed to be like a very slow burn, casual game. You play it for a long, long time. It's, I think there's a story, I believe. I looked it up. I believe there is a story, but not much to it, you know? And again, that's why I probably won't do like a full playthrough necessarily. Because, you know, it's kind of a lot. <laughs> then not even that, not even like not all that deep, I imagine, as well. You know, like super casual, right? So it's not like you're gonna save the world or anything, I don't imagine. Here's a city, by the way. This is a whole city. Hmm. Um, Again, a little laggy sometimes. I don't know why it is. I, I've noticed. Also, QQ? Hello? Oink. It's a pig. A Lulu. Okay, give gifts to people. I don't have gifts. I have this. I have fruit. Can I use this fruit? Somehow? Oh. Press triangle to go here, actually. What is, it? what is this? Uh, small can be used for rubber processing. Okay, you don't eat it. You use it to make it into stuff. Okay. I need some wood, by the way. I would like some wood. So I can fix up my house, most likely. There's only more maybe wood over here. Imagine you need an axe, right? But I can't make an axe yet. Or is there like a craft table or something? That's the first thing you make, right? A craft table. But, uh, but yeah, so far, I mean, this is really early on. But like, so far, it seems like this game is definitely a thing where it has a lot of things going on. Where it's like, it's more about uh, quantity than it is about quality, necessarily. It runs alright, I guess, but 
you know, I feel like it, the, the strength of this game is probably there's just a million things to do. Just like an MMO, really. You know? Okay. Oh. Oh, it's Zelda. Bye. See ya. It's mine now. How do I kill- how do I slaughter this duck? I just stole somebody's, like, duck, I think. I- I assume that's somebody else's farm, so I just stole this duck. And now I'm- I'm cooking dinner, right? <laughs> I'm just a psycho. Yeah, um... No? I can't- I can't do anything. I can't, like... I mean, obviously, I don't imagine you could be, like, super violent in this game. This is like- look at this, this is like a kid's game. Or it looks like a kid's game, anyway. You know, E for everybody kind of game. That's my duck now. Alright. Hmm. So the platform some sort? Assembly station. Keep pressing the wrong button. Uh, okay, so welcome to my uh, workshop handbook's first page. I write down all knowledge I know. This is where I'm gonna read this. Hello to me. Here we go. The lesson one. This is important. I just had to press to help me construct the assembly station. So I'll go to the podium, open this handbook, select the diagram. Once the framework of the item appears, I can start placing different parts. To install a part, and you have a part in my hands. I'll walk over the framework and highlight the location and press the left mouse button to place it. Well, I'm using a controller. <laughs> anyway. I can cancel the assembly process anytime at the podium. All the use items will go directly into my inventory. It's in the ground. The around the is full. No, 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 no. Okay. Next page, please. Oh, yeah, okay. It's weird. Okay, here's a here's a weird thing. I mean, I'm already criticizing the game, I guess, but... Uh, R3. It says R3 here. I think maybe it's just the controller, you know? Maybe it's, it's a little underdeveloped because it's like a PC game, but... It says R3, but that makes no sense. R3 means to push down on the uh, analog stick. That's what it means, you know? It's like, it's, it, well, very similar, like, uh, clicking down on your mouse uh, scroll wheel, you know, in a way. It's like a, it's like its own button, you know? Um, so when you say R3, it makes no sense. It's not R3. It's just the right analog stick. Anyway. So it's like more like RS or something. So all you do is just, like, use the, the stick. You don't, like, press it down. Anyway, stone furnace. Hmm. Okay. So, I guess to make this? There's a lot of, probably a lot of things, yeah. A lot of things. I'll make a... Make a little transport. Is that fast travel, or do you actually just get to... Drive that, maybe. Grill. Make food, maybe. Water tank. Hmm. Okay, so the UI is a little confusing. I mean, it's very stylistic, I guess, but... Kind of hard to read, but I guess you need... 10 wood. And the square, okay, the square means, like, you can use this stone furnace to make the stone stool. Is that what it is? And then you use the stone stool to, like, do other things, I guess. You use this basic furnace to smelt simple ores. You need a lot of wood, it seems. You need a lot of wood. Uh, well, I say a lot of wood. Well, never mind, actually. You need, well, you need that. Copper blade, stone brick. Uh, it's like, oh, here, you, you need wood here. Okay, that's what I was thinking of when I think of wood. Water tank. Um. Anyway, crafting. I never really got into crafting. This is just too much. I don't know. But I can make a sword, a simple axe. You need wood and stone. Well, I can make one of those, I guess. Furniture. And I guess that's what it is, you know, in this game. Like in these type of games, anyway, there's no like real overarching goal. I mean, I guess it's the story, but for the most part, you can just kind of just do whatever. You know, you just kind of exist. I do believe uh, when for, when Minecraft came out, it was it was the same way. It was just like just live, you know, just live and just make stuff. I guess. Um, I believe in Minecraft in the most recent update, there is like story. I think that's what I've heard anyway. I've never played it, but that's what I heard from other people. It's like an actual. Well, not really like story, but like, you know, like a, a main objective, I guess, you know, where you gotta like beat something and then you win, you know, victory and the credits roll or something like that. Not like a story, like, you know, like dialogue story, but, you know, a main quest kind of thing. Anyway, but usually in these games, that's not really what you play it for. It's just, I imagine, it's just do whatever. I don't know. Um, well, first, let me see if I can like, well, you know what? Actually, no, I should make an axe because if I make an axe, I can make even more wood because I was going to say I don't want to waste my wood. But actually, if I make an axe, that means I'll make even more axe, or even make, make even more wood, you know? I'll make, I'll make two axes. I can't make a pickaxe anymore, though. So I can use this axe to chop down trees, and use those, the trees that are chopped down to make 
even more axes or something. I don't know. Oop. Yeah, a little weird. Again, the game keeps lagging. I think it's every time I do like a new thing, the game lags for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like anyone else the same way. Anyway, woodcutting. Oh, back back the old... Uh, you know, the re one of the reasons why I don't really play these games anymore is because I've already played a game called RuneScape, you know, in my childhood. RuneScape was also, like, incredibly grindy. But at the time, anyway, it was fun because you could just do whatever as well. And you could, like, level up a bunch of skills. Because, you know, at the time, anyway, I feel like a lot of games are, like, uh, combat-focused. You know, a lot of RPGs are, like, combat-focused. At the time. So all you do is just like, oh, I can get better access. All you do is like, oh, you attack monsters, you level up. But you could do that in RuneScape. But what made it unique, I feel like at the time, at least for me anyway, compared to all, a lot of other games, was the fact you could just do anything. You could like level up your woodcutting, basically. And that's basically what I did. I leveled up my woodcutting in RuneScape all, all day. Uh, the gameplay didn't consist of much, though. You just click on trees the whole time. But that's what made it fun for me anyway. Yeah, 1,000 IQ. May, uh, may uh, turn wood into axe. And then turn... Use axe to make more wood. And then you turn the... Wood into more axes. Um, oh, I use up my stamina. Okay. Well, I need to eat, right? Maybe if I eat stuff, I'll increase my stamina. Or probably just sleep, I guess. I haven't really visited uh, Presley yet, by the way. Oh, I can't even I can't even stamina to gather. What? Really? Okay. Uh, is there a treasure chest kind of thing as well? I guess not. Can I just drop things, I wonder? Hmm. Uh, I thought the axes were stacked, but it doesn't stack, I guess. Punch. I guess sleep. I don't know. I, I, I assume just sleep now. Because I can't do anything right now. Uh, I can maybe fix this gap, though. Let's see. Use three wood to fix the gap. Yes. Oop, oop. Oh, I have this hammer, by the way. I didn't make the hammer, it just, it just came to the package. I assume I should fix up my house, most likely, right? Oh, 20 wood? I mean, I have 20 wood, but let me just check if I can fix this. Oh, 10 wood? How much wood? Okay, fine. I'll use up on my wood. All the gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. Good. Anything else? Can I look at this? Home panel. I think I, I looked at this before. Helper options? Uh, I assume you can like add, like you can like hire people, I guess, to automate your farm. Reminds me of those mobile games, actually. Those mobile farming games are literally, literally fun. You know, it's funny because people always mention like farming for like, for like uh, grinding levels, like a typical RPG. But this game is literally farming, you know, as well. And there are games that are literally about farming as well. Literally farming. There you go. Go to sleep real quick. Is that easy? Always, always in video games do characters just have never have trouble sleeping. They just go into bed and they sleep instantly. I can't do that. You gotta like, you know, move around a little bit. You know, you can't, you kind of squirm around. <laughs> You're like, oh, I can't sleep. And then only after, like, half an hour do you actually go to sleep. Maybe. Let's see. Unread? Uh, I'd like to remind you, uh, Porsche currently has two authorized rooms for you to dive in. An abandoned room number one below the Church of Light. Houses ruin the collapse east of west... Land, uh, 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 the collapse wasteland east of town. For your own safety, all other rooms are currently off limits. Thank you. Okay, so is there dungeons, I assume? It really is <laughs> Zonky Zero. Oh, I'm just playing Zonky Zero again. Um... But like, yeah, you probably go to dungeons and you get stuff, you fight monsters, I guess. Similar to, I know there's another game actually, uh, a more niche, I feel like, Harvest Moon, which I feel like a lot of people knew about is uh, Rune Factory. Rune Factory was like, at the time, you know, another Harvest Moon. But uh, it was unique at the time because it was the only ones that actually had combat on top of the farming mechanics, you know? I think that's what it was. I never played it, but I've heard, you know, that it was cool at the time. Of course, you know, other games eventually came out where they kind of harp on the Harvest Moon thing and then also have combat, so. Um, backup account. Uh, am I playing Zonky Zero only on specific days? Uh, well, I only, I only, um, my usual schedule for, like, uh, streaming. 
I think I mentioned before, but I guess I'll say it again, is that I usually like um, I play a game every other day. Usually, it was like a long playthrough anyway. I don't like to play the same game over and over every day. I don't know. Ah, I like to mix it up, you know? I think I used to I used to do that when I started streaming. I, I kind of get burnt out very easily if I just play the same game over and over and over again. I don't know. I'm also kind of following like the streamers I like to watch, you know? The streamers I like to watch uh, also kind of do the same thing. But they kind of like, you know, they rotate video games. You know, don't play like the same game over and over again. I, I guess, you know. Definitely different streamers do different things, I guess. But usually the ones I like to watch, I kind of like want to, you know, not not literally copy every single thing they do, but you know, I, I kind of like their idea. Or it's like, you know, you just play video games. Not just like play, not, not, not like grind like Fortnite for like seven days a week. I, I don't know. I don't want to be like a, a ninja. <laughs> you know? Is ninja still streaming? Is he like still a thing? I assume he is. Who's the guy that got banned from Twitch? Is this some other guy, right? Ah, I don't really follow the drama. I don't follow like big streamers all that much. The bigger, the biggest ones. I don't really know what they are or what they do. You know, I follow good streamers. <laughs> anyway, uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I can make more wood. Well, I don't need to make more wood, but uh, I must just tr just chop down this tree in the cemetery. By the way, am I allowed to do this? I'm, I'm actually like vandalizing the, the property. Anyway. Do, 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 do. I mean, speaking of stream, I mean, I mean, there's no point in me name and dropping, uh, name dropping them, because who cares about me? I'm just some random person on the internet. Oh, never mind, actually. Let's see. Oh, there, there's like a re a guy who's just completely red. By the way, okay, there's people that are just like, you know, just fantasy skin color. Uh, or maybe he's just, I don't know. Maybe he just ate something really spicy. Anyway. Yep. Yep. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins... Corps? Did he say corps? It's not corps, it's core. I think. I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Usually when you see, when you see cor corp like that, it's not corps, it's core. Right? Or am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. By Civil Corps. Oh, it could be like, well, it could be like, uh, Civil Corporations. Maybe they're saying sh it's short for corporations, maybe. Because when I think core, I think of like, you know, army. Maybe not actually. When you enter, yeah, I could be wrong. The jetpack and scanner, very handy ancient relics. Mining for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since they're very rare. Man, why can't I just steal it? This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there, just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons, then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Why? why? I want to keep the nukes. Come on. Okay, I'm done. Can I just smuggle the nukes out of there? Okay, so I know that this game, uh, there is like a, a sort of like a post-apocalyptic kind of setting to it. It doesn't look like it, but I guess the idea is that, uh, you know, the world has, has been destroyed and, you know, society has kind of reset and everything. So they're like ancient weapons, most likely. Probably like literally maybe nukes. I don't know. So that's why there are ruins like around the world and everything. The world, you know, even though it's post-apocalyptic, it didn't seem that bad though. It's not like Fallout New Vegas or whatever. Or Fallout in general, I guess. Well, when I think of Fallout, I think of New Vegas, I guess. It's the only one I played. Open. What do I get? Herbal, herbal mixture. The green hair comes from someone puking on him. This is just, this just sticks on your hair, I guess. This is a barber shop. I remember. <laughs> this is also I don't know. This brings back like MMO memories for some reason. Because I think of, like Maple Story. I remember how like big of a deal it is to, like actually change your hair in Maple Story. Because a lot of the hairstyles in Maple Story, any kind of customization is like you know blocked by pay to win aspects. You gotta like you know pay real money to like have cool hair. I guess in Maple Story, I remember. I was like always jealous because I want cool hair. I can't. Okay, I want I want to commerce skill. Is there like a map by the way? Or is it like a map? Well, I mean, this is a map, I guess. So how do I, how do I zoom in like this? Zoom in. So we're over here. So I want to go to the Commerce Guild. Also, it's in the middle. Okay, it's in the plaza. He, I remember. Yeah, he said plaza. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, by the before I got interrupted, uh, it, I remember I mentioned the streamers that I like to watch. I mean, again, this is, <laughs> me just name dropping them seems I don't know. I don't know. It seems 
I don't want to say rude, but... I'm just going to say it. Like, uh, the good streamers on this platform, by the way... I mean, one is German 985 I've been watching him since the beginning. Uh, German 985 Vine Sauce. You know, Vinny from Vine Sauce. Northern Line. Uh, Channel TV. Uh, who else? I mean, there's probably a, a way more, but, I just, you know, those are the ones that come to mind. Those are the good streamers. They don't get enough viewers. They're the ones that don't get enough viewers. And yet people like Ninja that play Fortnite are the ones that get a bajillion views. But the ones that actually are good at what they do, you know, streaming, they don't get enough viewers. Anyway. That's just how I feel. I guess those guys, you know, the streamers I like to watch, I guess, don't really appeal to the kids necessarily. Maybe that's why, you know. I mean, I, I think that's the biggest reason. It's just, you know, it's just all kids that watch uh, the biggest streamers, I guess. I assume. All I watch are boomers, basically. <laughs> That's why I'm such a boomer how myself. You settling in? Anyway, uh... How are you settling in? No, I'm not good. I hate this. Hang in there. Give me my, like, internet. Where's my internet? Let me I don't have a computer. Where the organization that orchestrates trade How do I like craft like a computer? This region. This is the Porsche branch. We are pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. Builder test. You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the total tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your pa's old one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. Okay. I mean, we kind of already crafted an axe, but... I guess... Uh, no, that's not what I do. So, what's a... Okay, so we gotta make... Oh, I already made an axe. We need a pickaxe as well, okay. Well, I need I need a stone for that. I think I have some stone already, right? So all we need to do is go back to where we were and uh, make a pickaxe. Okay, I gotta run. Uh, running costs is SP though, right? SP or like stamina points. I'm looking at the bottom right. Does it cost like... Well, it costs like the temporary stamina, you know, on the left. Which lo it looks like it's a, <laughs> it's a Breath of the Wild stamina meter, by the way. That's what it looks like. You're telling Genshin Impact stole that. It's more like this game stole that too. Anyway, everyone's stealing it. Um, craft this, I guess. I guess I'll just make one. And there you go. I did it. I did the test, and then to go back, I guess. Now, how do I use this pickaxe? Or actually, there is, the pickaxe is not in my inventory, unless I need to. Okay, there you go. Okay, that's the. Okay, I do have an inventory. Really. I don't know. I thought I. Oh, okay. For some reason, you know how, like, it's weird. You, I thought these were, like, locked. I mean, this is locked, but over here was locked because it was grayed out. That's, a, that's another thing about the UI. Because I thought this was grayed out. I w you know, in typical game design, these squares would be highlighted to show that you can put something in it. But I thought it was, like, completely blocked out. So you can't put this, you know, in your inventory right here. I didn't know that. I thought it was, like, grayed out because, you know, because it was like, grayed out, I thought you couldn't put anything. Anyway, uh, I want the pickaxe though, so on that. Move item, square. Oh god, the controls. That could be weird for me. Do that. Do that. Um, again, it's weird. Uh, there's no music in the <laughs> main menu, it's just silent. It's like a horror game. You're gonna jump scare you or something. Anyway, a pickaxe. Can I use a pickaxe or something? Okay, oh, I can use it on this. Okay. That's what it's for. Also, again, lag. Weird lag. Every time I do, like, do something new in the world, the entire game just lags. There you go. So you can make stuff from here. Get resources from this. Alright. I wish there was, um... I mean, later probably you'll get more tools later, I guess. So it doesn't matter. But I wish the items would just automatically just go in my inventory. Instead of, like, filling up my hotbar. I don't know, it irks me. I like having it organized. <laughs> I'd rather not have like random stuff in my inventory. Other than the necessary tools, you know? 
Gale. Fine, I'll talk to you. Who are you? He's the mayor, apparently. He looks... Everyone looks weird. <laughs> I don't know. It's just me. Everyone looks weird in this, this game. I need to head home right after I finish the work. Not a minute's delay. I'm good for you. I assume, yes, yeah, similar to Harvest Moon, all the characters, all these little NPCs have a kind of like little routine. Kind of like, oh, it reminds me of uh, Oblivion, you know, in Skyrim. NPCs kind of like walk around, do their own thing. I don't know how involved it is. Like, I wonder if they like go to certain places, like actually eat and stuff or go to sleep. Uh, it looks like they just walk around and do stuff, right? Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your park had a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna skip it now. I don't know. I usually don't like to skip dialogue, but again, this game is like I'm I'm just I'm just very uh, I'm just doing a very casual first impressions of this game, and also it just seems like he's just saying, you know, it's like a tutorial. <laughs> he's like, you do press, go over here and do this thing. Remember, Snake, you can press the the X button to like crouch and go into a sneak mode by pressing the triangle button. You know, it's like it's it's not really it's like it's too meta. <laughs> you know, it's not even they're not even pretending that it's. I mean, I guess they're saying like a hand. We can follow a handbook. I guess not that bad. But oh, oh that's even a tutorial in the tutorial. Uh, well, the power equipment. So I'm gonna use parts can be stored or recovered. Hmm. Okay, so it's not it's not it's not that simple. You actually have to put the parts together, huh? Uh, everyone looks weird because they're not anime girls. Yeah. Well, I would prefer. I wish they were anime girls. You know, I wish everybody was just an anime girl. It's just like a species, not even a gender. You see, anime girls aren't a gender. They're just a species, you know? That's how it works, right? No, um, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to do stone furnace. I want this one. Hmm. Okay, so that, okay. So now, I, okay, I really didn't understand this UI. Okay, so you do need 10 wood, but you also need 10 stone change into a stone stool, I guess, in order to make a stone furnace. Is that what it is? I assume that's what it is. Um, assembly. Oh. I chose the wrong thing. I'll choose this one. How do I choose this one? Hello? This? Okay, I'm gonna use my D pad. It's weird. Alright, to assemble, you need 10 wood, but you also need a stone stool. So, to make a stone stool, you go over here, I assume. Stone stool, stone stool. To make a stone stool, you need uh, 10 stone. So you just do this. There you go, we got a stone stool. So we do that. I gotta do my quick bar, alright? And then I got 10 wood, I gotta get it from my quick bar. Alright? Okay, just faster if I use my mouse. Just do this, okay. Now, inventory manager definitely, yeah, it's hard to do with a, with a controller. It's just, it's just weird. Okay. And then that's it, right? There you go. Stone furnace. All right, make a stone furnace. I did it. I assume you could put the stone furnace somewhere. Um, I mean, for now, I guess just put it somewhere. Mm, I don't know. Put it, I want to put it over here, but the tree's in the way. Not tree, but a bush. Can I just destroy the bush, please? Get out of here. Get out of here. Um, over here. So it's nice and next to the... Oh, well, I'll put it over here, actually. Uh, can I rotate it? I wish I could rotate it. Is there a rotate? Oh, there is. Okay. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, yeah. And there you go. Ta -da. What do you even use this for? Punch it. No, um, I can make glass, stone break, charcoal. Okay, so this is like 
specialized crafting table. I mean, I imagine there's a bunch of specialized crafting tables for crafting different things. Craft, craft, craft. What do you want, Emily? Hey. There's an exclamation mark on your face. Hey, neighbor. Do you have a minute? I've been meaning to talk to you. Sure, what's up? I just got a new craft recipe all the way from Highwind. It's a box that can be used to cultivate crops. People in Highwind have been using it for a while now, and supposedly it's great. Can you build it and test it out for me? If it works as advertised, I'll order a few more off of you. How about it? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. Here's the craft recipe. And here are a few seeds to plant. If you want more seeds, you can buy them from my granny's shop. Try growing them to maturity and show me the harvest. Also, I have a tip for you. Using fertilizer will help increase the harvest. I'll give you some of that as well. I don't need your help, Emily. Now, um, it's a small planter box. What is this? Do I use it somehow? Or... It's a recipe, so how do you use the recipe? <laughs> I don't know. So just use it? Okay. So I learned the recipe. What does that mean? Do I... Can I just make it now? Where do I make it? Here? Eh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New? New, like, furniture? Okay. So you make a small planter box. This is how you make, I guess, I assume, uh... Crops. You need a wooden board. Soil and poop. You need poop as well. How do you get poop? I, I wonder how you get poop. <laughs> um, hmm. Upgrade the work top work table A and G construction. Uh, what that means exactly. A wooden storage. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I probably need that, right? Let's grab that real quick. Is there like a time limit for these quests? I don't know if there is. This is like, this is like a side quest, technically, right? Oh, you go over here as well. Okay, this categorizes what you need for a quest. Um, hmm. It says here to say, it says to upgrade though. So I imagine, well, do I need to upgrade? To like make stuff like that? I wonder. I don't know, whatever. Fertilizer, wooden storage. I'll put the wooden storage over here. Let's put it on the outside. Everyone else who plays like any crafting games. Uh... Open it and then put stuff in it. All right. Um, I imagine it's, now I put this stuff inside. Now I wonder, do you have to like? <laughs> this is why I don't like, you know, playing craft, playing these type of games for too much because yeah, I can already imagine the micromanaging. So it's like, unless like, like I was gonna say like, do um items in your storage does it count for uh? For crafting, you know? Or do you have to, like... Hmm... No, I think... Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, no, I think... Uh, okay. I think, you like, you can craft even when it's in your storage. So you're gonna take it out every time. Okay, so it's not that bad. I was gonna say, you know, it might be, like... A thing where you gotta pick it up every time. Anyway, um... So we can't really craft the planter box right now. That's, like, a thing I'll do later, I guess. Look at that. That looks, that looks interesting. Over there in the... In the background over there something fell on something else it's like a ruined building maybe a oh, grass over here it's like I, I assume it's just a wheat punch and punch a scarecrow no. <laughs> well it's nighttime um I didn't use all my SP though is the is the person still around let me just go run real quick before you know I wonder if it's gonna be a thing we like you Pass out or something if you stay up too late or something. Ah, okay, there, there, okay, there is like, yeah, okay, I, I, I remember. There is electricity here, by the way. Use box. I remember Harvest Moon. There are like times that people are like, you know, around, so you can't just like go do whatever all the time. You need to be uh, considerate of other people's schedule, I guess. Go to sleep. Ding ding. I wish I could change my shirt, by the way. I don't know. I, I, I want to, like, change my, my, just my t-shirt. I just wear the forever. Oh, it's kind of early. Also, it's raining. Also, as, the rain is a weird effect. It's like a screen effect. Not like real rain, you know? I 
feel like or is it just me like the, the rain kind of changes yeah depending on where the camera is facing so it's more like a screen effect than it is like a real rain effect oh everyone has like why does this guy have like a umbrella hat is that a thing i guess people just have umbrella hats does that work i imagine in real life you wear an umbrella hat well it depends if the umbrella is big enough i guess I was gonna say, you know, if you wear an umbrella hat, wouldn't the water kind of just fall off your shoulders? It wouldn't really keep you dry. What's this? Partial notice? The missions, I assume. It's hard to see. It's very small. What's this? Uh, three shell necklaces. Okay, so just random, like, little missions you can do, I guess. Oh, hey, you stole my- what? You stole one- did you steal one of the missions? Did you steal my mission? You must be, you must be the competition! Whatever. whatever. Okay, <laughs> that's what... Bring it on. That's, that's my first impression of this guy. Kill. Can I kill him? Can I... I assume he took the commission, or, or, or otherwise the commission, like, expired. I assume maybe that's the case. Oh, he's level level 10. He's too good. And la laggy, laggy rain combat. Good. Die. Die. You talk to me that way, I'm gonna freaking punch your face and now he's gonna kill me. Ah! Die, Higgins! Ah, oh, okay, I'm dead. Well, I'm not dead yet. I'm dead. He killed me. Apparently, his kung fu is the best. Oh. Now, this is when I grab a knife and kill him in his sleep. No? Can't do that? It's like, you know, just like, a, you know, I was talking about, like, uh, Skyrim before, you know, that's how you do it, right? Was it Skyrim or was it like, uh, it was Fallout, actually. I believe in Fallout. Fallout New Vegas. And probably some other Fallout games, but... There was, like, a, a perk where you could, like, you know, you level up, you get a perk, and then you could, like, uh, kill people in their sleep. Literally, you know? I'm not, I'm not a psycho. It's, it's like, it's from, a, it's from a game, you see. I believe it's called, um... What's it called? Mr. Mr. Sandman, was it? I think it was called something like that. Where if you learn that skill, you know, you have, you have a high enough sneak skill. You can sneak up on when someone's sleeping and then just freaking murder them, you know? <laughs> this is how it works. Hmm. I'll have to wait, I think. Because where, um, cause where is the guy? I'm waiting for the guy. Let's go talk to the receptionist, maybe? Let me go back. kind of left because I thought there was nothing to do there, but... As I talk to Antoine, hello. Hi there. I know who you are. Okay, you're very flamboyant. We'll probably. Oh, I didn't mean to skip. Oops, sorry. Skincare is a basic right. Skincare is a basic right. Face cream every day to have smooth skin. Good for you. Oh, I need to talk to the the the, 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 the I don't know what you call him, the director, I guess. Because I I did the building test, but I don't know where he is right now. Uh, probably has like his own schedule, I guess. Is he around? I was in Walnut Grove. Look at the map. Yeah, I was wondering, like, can you just find them on the map, maybe? Because, again, yeah, everyone has their own schedule. But, well, I can't really... Not in here, I guess. I have to go outside first. But can you, like, talk to him, like, just walking around? <laughs> normally, you think you, you know... Normally, you just go... Uh, talk to them at the, at the at their place of work, not just like meet them outside. I guess over there. I assume so. Great job! You, you pass. Good. Your builder license. Congratulations! Now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. After which. You can start taking regular commissions. Come back and talk with me after you register. I still have to talk to you? I don't want to talk to you anymore, Presley. But I guess I have to. Um, register with Mayor Gale. I saw, well, I saw the mayors. Right? I saw the mayor before. This over here. Or should government. Can I destroy the government? Is there an option in this game? Does it you know, cause some anarchy? No. 
I really just want to. This is why I can't play crafting like this, these kind of games. Where it's like it's supposed to be casual, fun, and wholesome. I just think about destroying the town. I don't know, man. I don't want to build. I just want to destroy. Welcome, welcome. You must be the new builder. You must be the new builder. <laughs> the mayor of this town it is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society i'm here to register my workshop very well what is the name of your workshop workshop my name is workshop um can i, can I change it um i mean it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah I don't, I don't really have like a creative name right now and I, I don't think I would be able to think of something anyway. Um, now I want to name it something. I guess like generally or like is it the workbench itself or like in general like my store I guess or something. I don't know. The the slider foundry. No, I want to call it the slider foundry. Oh, never mind then. Work. I don't know. Minecraft. I don't know. Minecraft. My workshop is Minecraft. I couldn't think of anything. I just thought Minecraft. Nice name. Your registration? Can I change it later? I don't know. I couldn't think of any. Thank you. I wanted I wanted to call it the Slider Foundry, you know? But the name's too long, so we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> and, uh, I will cover town and world events at large. Uh, the usual, you know. You know, the usual. You know, just some political corruption, the usual. Taking bribes, the usual. Working with the mafia, the usual. Anyway, um... Okay, you have to show the registration to Presley now, which is over here. Right next to the... Right next to the government. You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the processes for our And your, your mouth is weird. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, again, everyone looks weird, but every day that's the, the point. Over there. But man, it, it's, it's like... It's like upper lip. It's like... His nose is all connected, like one really long face. I don't know. Anyway. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. There are other workshops in Portia? Oh, yes. Adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Okay, and the game freezed? Hello? Hello? Anyway, oh, oh, okay. It's loading a cutscene, I assume. I kept one just for you. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins, you already took one today. There are never too many commissions. Good day. That's Runt. He's the owner of the current number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Okay. Hey, press. Oh. I've got a job for you. Or not. It's a weird lag with the cutscenes. But I was right, by the way. Higgins is an asshole. He was the one that stole my commissions. That freaking asshole. We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So the mayor finally put up the money? Well, young builder here is up to Young the builder. Church. It's like in Genshin. I mean, just like in any game. I was going to say, like, just like Genshin Impact. They never say your real name, obviously. Because, you know, you, you can't voice that many lines for every single unique name, you know, but uh, they just replace it, you know, with Builder. Young Builder. It's like, like Tabi Tab Pito or Traveler in Mission Impact. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction. What with the haunted cave and all. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. 
If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you'll need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Also, and this is important, our project is oh, big as Presley keeps changing his microphone. We need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. Hmm. Okay, so you have to go you have to go to ruins. You have to do ruins. You can't not do the ruins, I guess. I mean, that's Builder license. It's me, everybody. It's my degree. It's a piece of paper that I paid like many thousands of dollars for, and I pay back later for the rest of my life. Um, can I look at it. I was gonna say, can I change it again? I think I regret naming it Minecraft. <laughs> it's, I couldn't think. I just think the first thing I thought of was Minecraft for some reason. Use it? No. Ah, whatever. Who cares? I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it uh, gives you twenty plus stamina, though. Is it just a passive forever? This is a forever stamina uh, boost, I assume. Or rather... No, no, actually, it needs to be placed in your house. Okay. Okay, so in order to get that stamina boost, you have to place it in your house. Uh, let's see. So you gotta build a bridge. You gotta build a bridge head, build a bridge body, and stuff like that. Okay, that's the main quest, I assume. Build some uh, bridge parts. Make some money. I mean, I don't know. I guess my goal for now is... Like, how much money do I even have? Do I even have any money? I don't think I have any money. I assume not. I keep pressing the wrong button. Um, no, I have 107, but you know, I need more. My really, my own big, my biggest goal right now. I assume you can do it. Is to change my clothes. I just want to change my clothes right now. I'm kind of sick of these just t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> I don't know. The jeans are fine, I guess. I just want to change the t-shirt to something else. It looks a little tacky. I don't know. Or is that the right word? Maybe not tacky, but I don't know. It's like it's like when someone. I mean, it's a very common thing, I guess. Maybe it's just me, but Minecraft. That's called Minecraft. But like, it's like when you like wear just like a waifu anime girl waifu T-shirt. I don't know, man. Or like anything really, not just like waifu anime T-shirt, but like just like a video game T-shirt or like I don't know. You're just wearing, like, a brand on your shirt. That just looks silly to me. Maybe, maybe that's just me. I don't know. Yeah, just wear <laughs> ah, Ahigao t-shirt. Or was more like a... Wasn't it? What's, what's the meme? Like, Ahigao hoodie? Was it? Anyway. No, um... Actually, not this. I do it over here. So to make the bridge, oh don't! I keep choosing. I keep. I press D pad. It's not right. D pad is how you choose like a, a thing to build. Rather, I have to go. Yeah, use my analog stick. So I gotta make the wooden bridge head, wooden bridge body. In order to do so, I need three copper pipes. Well, let's take it one by one. Okay. Well, this one is gonna be like a big project already. Uh, bronze plates. Tin ore, copper ore, smelted, stone, the stone brick, hmm, furnace, furnace. So I need a furnace, but I already have a furnace, right? I mean, this is a furnace itself. This is a stone furnace. I don't know if it's good for anything. Okay, it is. I think, yeah. Okay, so you can, you can use this. It's not part of the mission, though. I wish. I wish that was like put on part of the mission, but a copper bar, copper bar. You also see a hardwood plank. So I also need a civil cutter. So that's not... I don't... I, I can't do this yet until I get a civil cutter as well. Uh, I, I think... It, it said you can buy it, right? You can buy stuff, but... You know, I'd rather make it myself, obviously. Hmm. Cutting wood into wooden boards. The stone brick. Copper ore. And then copper blade. Make the copper board into a copper blade. Okay. Copper blade and stone brick. So I already have stone brick, so. Or uh, well no no oops, I, I mean not not stone brick, rather I can I can change the my stone into store bricks. That's what I meant, right? Yeah, okay. I thought I, I read that wrong. No, so well, you change the stone into stone bricks. That's how it works. I don't think I have enough yet. Let me just check. Yeah, I don't have enough. I need way more. Field depleted? What do you mean, fuel depleted? Refuel? Oh, you need like, 
Need wood as well. Okay, so I need a lot of wood, really. A lot of wood, a lot of stone. I have to go to ruins as well to get, like, a bunch of ore. I mean, let's just begin, you know? I wonder, if does, this, does the axes have durability? I assume they do. That's why I built, like, multiple of those axes. I assume eventually they break, maybe? It doesn't look like they have a durability bar on them, necessarily. I'm thinking they might have, like, a thing where you gotta, like, eventually replace it. That's why I got have multiple axes. Uh, but, well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I'm pressing the wrong button. I don't need the multiple axes in my hotbar, so just put that away. Put that fiber away. Hmm. It seems like you can put armor in this game, though, right? You can, like, maybe buy armor. Interesting. Okay, so I need a lot of wood, I assume. Like, how much do I need in total? Probably a, a lot. No, basically a lot. So I'm just gonna cut wood, basically. It's RuneScape again. Time to RuneScape. Whee! Amazing gameplay, RuneScape. Just, like, cutting trees in the middle of, like, a thunderstorm. It's actually, like, if this was, like, a real life, I would not... I don't want to do this. I'll just get sick. You know, you know how they say, oh yeah, you know how they say, like, you know, you stay out in the rain, you get sick? And people say, well, ironically, people say that as a myth. But I think it's real, you know? It, it doesn't make you, like, sick directly but you know definitely lowers your immune system because you get really cold right when you're like all soaked by the rain probably a lot of your body's resources are being used to keep you warm and so you're uh you're more likely to get sick you know it isn't like the rain itself doesn't directly make you sick except in, unless it's like i don't know polluted rain i guess if you live in a very polluted uh, area Otherwise, you know, it's not like the rain itself makes you sick you know, directly. Yeah, the yeah the axes haven't broken yet. I don't know. I'm assuming they break. I mean, just like a, I, I'm assuming from a lot of other survival games. Again, I don't play them a lot. I do watch them sometimes though. There's a there was there was another game. There's a game called Valve. Um, was it Valheim? Was it? It was like a Viking game. That's also survival and crafting and all that. But yeah, I, I watch other people play survival games sometimes. I just don't like playing all them all that much, to be honest. I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of this, right? It's like... Boop. Boop. <laughs> you know, it's like... I don't know. I'm, I'm more of like a... You know, I'm more of like a story kind of person, you know? I like following like a good story for the most part. It depends, though. Sometimes I don't like the story, but... I, I like to be oh, a caterpillar is so smug. But yeah, if I like if I stream and record a game in particular, I like usually like following like a, a story of some sort. Or like a good world or something interesting. You know, like an interesting world to explore. Would be cool too. I don't know. Again, I'm I'm just playing this a little bit. Just a little bit. Chop, chop, chop. Choppity chop. I know some people, I remember, I don't know if people still do it, but I remember there was a, a craze. Uh, a RuneScape craze, actually, I remember. Where people just did this, actually. They just grinded RuneScape all day and somehow they got millions of viewers. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. I wouldn't able to, I wouldn't know how you do that at all. How do you, how do you keep that kind of stream entertaining? You just click on stuff all day. I don't know, I guess you just talk. You just talk and talk and talk, but for me, I just kind of run out of things to say eventually, probably. And get wet? Uh, get wet in Genshin? Let's see here. Let's see. So stone breaks. So I gotta get some wood. I guess I get more stone as well. Or mail, I guess. What do you what do you want, mail? I should just, I should just ignore all the mail. Uh unread? Okay, three letters on unread. Uh civil corpse. And take some commissions with, from you when it comes to gathering materials. From the you can post a commission. I gotta pay for that, right? I don't, I don't pay for anything. 
So I guess you yourself could like post side quests for other people. Is what is that is that what they're saying? Okay. At the end of the week, we need qualified people to expect these products. To coordinate with uh, with this, we will not pause pause no post any regular commissions during the weekend, but feel free to turn them in. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. What do you mean is inspect what? What? <laughs> to coordinate with this, we would not post any regular commissions during the weekend. Turn them in. I guess what they mean is that you can't do commissions at the end of the week. But I don't know what they're inspecting exactly. Or do you mean inspect the, the products of the commissions? Is that, is that what they mean? I guess that's what they mean. Uh, hey, new builder, I have a manly commission for you to help you get settled in. You feeling it? Okay, who's saying this? They have a weird way of speaking. I'm gonna need three copper blades and some of my furniture. I expect nothing but macho quality, okay? Also, if you don't have one already, you'll need a grinder to create these blades. That's all I know about builder stuff. Okay. Is it all oh, this guy apparently on the bottom left? Is uh, saying this? Sure, from Polly. I need a grinder? What, I need a grinder. Wait, what? Oh, I need a, I need a cutter for one. I also need a grinder as well? I need this. Okay. Huh. Well. I need copper blades. Well, I need copper blades while... Well... Hmm. Oh, okay. So I need this and that. Oh, so I can't make the copper... Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Maybe I can't make this yet, actually, when I think about it. Because uh, he says something about a copper blade. Oh, okay. It says here, collect all the following materials in the process in the grinder. This is on the bottom left. So I need a, a grinder as well. Ah, let's make this first. <sighs> um, okay. So copper bore, copper ore. There's so many levels, so many layers of crafting. Gotta do. I also need old parts, I guess. Whatever that means from Ben Runes. Weird glitch there. <laughs> what is this? I, I can't read that. Uh, there's a text box is sword word sometimes. Anyway, so I gotta make this first. Hmm, copper bars, old parts, and grinding stone. How do you make grinding stone? Again, uh, crafting. Okay, so I need some stone. Copper bars. So I, I, I need I need to do a lot of diving into the ruins most likely. But first, let me just grab some stone real quick. Up. Yep. Is it better? I wonder if gathering. Gathering also causes stamina, but it seems like I was about the same as like just doing it normally. I feel like. Of like hitting stuff, you know? Can I destroy this wall? No, I can't destroy the wall. I can destroy this though. It do drops copper ore sometimes when I just break these little stones here. <laughs> I just want these stones. Can I use the stones to make a thing that I need to make? Grinding stone. I need two of them, right? Or two or well, let's make one first. How much do I need again? Two, right? Yeah, I need two. Okay. It's not really in my inventory. Oh, a bunch of people running there, by the way. I assume it's a daily jog of some sort. So weird by you, you press square to like move the items, but then you need to like press X to like confirm. You think it'd be one button, not like two buttons every time. So I get mixed up, you know, whether I press square or press X. Anyway, um, put this in. All right, now I need copper bars and I need old parts. I think I have some ore. Well, let me just put everything in the wooden storage. This, uh, put that there. Is there a way to like. Oh, okay, I can press. Okay, I can press that button. All right. Uh, I just only put some of the stuff here. Let's put a worm in there. All right, not a worm. It's a caterpillar. 
Mm, let's keep it here for now. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So I need some fuel first. Copper bar. How much, how much copper bars do I need? Let me just check. So I need three. So I'll make sure I have enough. I assume I'm using fuel. I don't know if I assume fuel just like it's a time thing or eventually, you know, you can't just uh, keep it on forever. But uh, I need three. So therefore I need nine copper ores. So I don't have enough yet. Is a thing. So I need more copper ores. I guess let me check the commerce guild. Is there any other quests I can just take up? You know, a lot of these quests I have, I can't really do right now. I just, I, I just keep piling them on. Any commissions? What commissions that you can't even do? I don't know. Now let's see. Two basic skivers. Three talismans. Two copper blades. Gonna make even more copper blades? I already, I'm already making copper blades and I don't know if I can make more. I don't know what a skiver is. It says this person wants skivers. I don't know what these skivers are. Two talismans. I don't know. Okay, I don't understand these commissions. I'm gonna just leave. I wonder if there's any, like, um, I, there is a time limit, so I don't know, like, we take commission, but you can't do it, you like, people just hate you, <laughs> you know, you just, like, you took the commission, you didn't do it, you suck, and you, you get kicked out, forever, and you live on the streets, and what's this, use a phone, yes, you, wait, don't hang up, I'm one of the makers for this world, I was the one that made the grass grow, okay, hello, developer, how are you enjoying your time in Porsche, you have any questions, or email us, admin at pathia.net, let me tell you a secret. Some of the bad runes here is a secret room. It's really awesome. I don't, I don't know where the runes are. This guy has a quest. You know, I don't want to take too many quests because I'm like, I'm I'm too overwhelmed by things. I don't know. I, I hate having like things to do on the on the to-do list and I just never do them. I don't know if you have some accomplishment. Anyway, um. Bread. What's the point of buying bread? It costs a lot of money. You know, that's basically all my money. Uh, it gives you a buff, gives you HP and stamina. Okay, well, I can't afford it right now. All right. Um, I go to ruins. Are there? I mean, we saw one ruin. There's like two ruins, right? But which ruins am I supposed to go? They mentioned like one under like a tower or some sort. Not sure. Look at the map. Yeah, yeah, so slow. The mission over here, apparently. What's this? Meet and greet? Fishing rod? Uh, so banner rooms number two is this one. A banner rooms number one is this one. Which one do I go? I assume the second one? Is there like a reminder basically what I need to do oh, I didn't mean that R2 hmm so then the commission bridge to Ember Island use it to the through thing hmm. I wish it gave me an idea which ruins because they gave you two options right two ruins to do I don't know which one to do I assume this one Abandoned ruin right here. Just put a sign. Everyone go in, I guess. Are you just spend 20, 20 gold? Nope. Let's go in. No. What? And this is a bad ruin number one, actually. Well, it's not this one. Maybe? Because I think it's the second one, right? It's the one they, they mentioned. I was over there. Okay, creepy cemetery. It's a really big tombstones. But the character is not even that big. Very small. Like, who lived here? Giants? Like, who's buried here, rather? Seem to be giants. Okay, so over here is the bedroom number two. This is number two, this is what they call it. 
Uh, no entries permitted. What? Oh man, we can't go in. No, oh, never mind. That's what I guess it was number one. Um, it costs money though. That's all my money. <laughs> I don't. I don't, don't want to spend money. I don't have any money. You get soft locked if you just spend all your money. And you can't go in anymore. Like what happens if you go in and then you just eh, I'll give you nah and then you just leave. This is a week, I guess. But what happens if you just spend seven days in bed, then I come back and it's like, oh, I can't pay for it anymore. Okay, fine, whatever. I freaking do it. Oh yeah, there's a skill. They mentioned a skill tree. I don't really explore that yet. Anyway, aim the reticle at the position you want to dig, then press the button to dig. Just like the pick or drill tool. Press the F key or L to R2 scan relic scanner. Jump to close light. Press the jump button probably to like um, use your jetpack, I guess. Okay. Alright. Wear a little weird goggles, I guess. Temporary store. Oh. Oh, lag, 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 okay. Okay, oh, it's just it's just this is relic scan mode, that's all this. Not much here. This is a very empty cave. Why is it so empty? It's just so empty. Nothing. Nothing here. The heck? Do I just do that? Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. It, it, sort of like it's sort of like Valheim, actually. You know, I, I mentioned Valheim before. Or like you can like sculpt the world. Though I probably you can't do it in the main world, I guess. But you only do it here in the caves. So it's limited in that sense, but... Hmm. Wait, I want to check my, uh... My skill tree? Where's the skill tree? Oh, yeah, skill tree. So, what can I even get? It's like, mastery of pickaxe. Stamina's cost decrease. Move talker. The giver. What if I just want to fight? I just want to fight. Experience gain increased by 5%. Is that only for fighting or is it like for any everything? Because that not be that may be good for just in general, you know, X XP increase. Mm, how do I Oh, it's the wrong button. They don't say what button I need to press. Uh this one? Okay, just press X, I guess. Whatever. Just apply all of the skills. I don't care if it's the wrong thing to do, I just do it. Okay, relics, relics, any relics? No? Let's see, well... If I hit this, would I get copper from this or something? Is that how it works? No, I just get sand. It's just sand. Sand. Sand's Undertale. No? It's just sand. I don't want sand. I need copper! Come on, where's copper? Also, my character's ponytail is just clipping through the jetpack. That irks me for some reason. Sand? It's just sand. I assume copper is like brown, right? But how about here? That's just more stone and sand. Not much in here, I feel like. Uh no, that's just XP. <laughs> it really is maybe like Minecraft where you gotta like just you just, you just gotta keep mining, I guess. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. Any relics? Any relics? 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 Man, these ruins suck. <laughs> it's just a really empty cave. There's nothing to see. It's so empty. It's nothing. It's just pure nothing. Um. Oh, oh, it's copper. Okay, so th this looks slightly different, I guess. It's hard to tell, though. That is copper. Oh, give me that copper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get stuck. Give me that copper. All of the copper. I need copper, so give me all of this. I'm gonna use it on my stamina, though. I just keep digging down. Seems like a bad idea, because I'm gonna get stuck in here, you know, or something. Can that happen to you? I don't know. 
Check my relic scanner. Ooh. Oh, I see something actually. No, there is something. Okay, it's underground. You need to like look down. It really is Minecraft. <laughs> okay, this is just stone now, but the relic thing says something over here. Hello? I'm trying to dig like oh, it's up now. Okay, archaeologist, mission start. I don't know what that means. The, the thinking can. The thinking can piece three. Okay. So you gotta collect more than one of those relics. I thought I could just get like a, a weapon or something, like a cool item. I gotta collect like multiple of them to like for anything to happen, I guess. I just need this copper though. Look at that copper. Also, my footprint is in the air for some reason. Weird. Yeah, it's interesting, you know. I feel like what's is there another game that kinda does this? I can't remember. But there's another game that kinda like does the whole like uh I think it was called Seven Days to Die or something. Where they do the whole like world is being, you know, molded kind of thing. Again, in this game it seems like it's just it's just only for the ruins. So you can't just do it, you know, willy nilly across the world, but in other games you can do that. This game, not so much. Interesting idea, I guess. I mean, personally, when I think if you can mold a world like this, it'd be more interesting in, like, uh... In a situation where you can use it strategically, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, fight enemies or something. I know there was a game like this, actually. Well, it's, it's not... It's not the same system, but... The concept of using, you know, the, the world to your advantage. I believe there was a game like that. I can't remember what it was. It was like, you know, it had like a Minecraft kind of look to it. But it was like PvP, you know, it was like multiplayer PvP. You would like dig around. It was kind of fun, actually. You would like just like big structures around the map. And people would like build like uh, trenches or stuff like that. Or like, uh, you know, just dig all the way around. That's why I did. I remember like I, I can't remember the game's name. Well, I forget what it's called, but it was like where... I would like uh, just dig r straight th under the enemy's defenses. It would take a really long time, you know, just to do so. But it was funny because I just go all around the enemy's defenses and eventually I get like one shot on one guy, you know, with a gun. Of course, immediately then someone would find me and just kill me anyway. But, you know, it's like fun to like make your own like custom tunnels, like a, like a custom map. You would, like build a map as you play it. It's pretty fun. What do we call it? I really forget because I remember... Ace of Spades, that's what, oh yeah, Ace of Spades, that, that was the game. Um, there was a sequel, I think, or or like a remastered version, I think, of like the official game, because it was free at first, you know, it was like a free game, free like experimental game, but then the developers made like a real game, I assume, but it just wasn't as good, unfortunately. They made it more like TF2, I guess, and there's like class systems and everything, but it just wasn't as fun, you know, it wasn't, it was too streamlined. It kind of missed the charm of the original game, which was, you know, the ability to just do whatever you want. It was just like this big map, and then it's, it's like a Minecraft world, sort of. And you could like make blocks, you know, and just build anything you want. And it'd be fun to just like, you know, suddenly you're in like a shooting match, but then someone just builds like a... Well, it's like Fortnite. When you think about it, it's just like Fortnite, but a much slower pace, though, you know? Like, you just make entire structures. You would just make a base or like, make a giant wall. You know, it'd be really fun. And have these really elaborate, you know, like, uh, secret tunnels and everything. It was like a, it was a fun time. If I remember. But, uh, you know, the actual, like, official release didn't really capture that feel, I feel like. A lot of people didn't really like it, to be honest. Oh, no, it's not a stamina. Can't do that. Can't even gather stuff. Can't even just pick up stuff from the ground. Too tired. Yeah, I mean the fun was like you know, the fact that uh, again it was slow paced because we think about it, it it's kind of like Fortnite I guess, but Fortnite is definitely a lot faster paced you know. So the structures that you build, as far as I know, I don't I didn't play any of it really. But from what I saw anyway, people would just like build giant towers you know out of nowhere, 
just to like react to someone shooting at them or whatever. But in Ace of Space, it's definitely a way slower, kind of slow paced game, you know? Like you would actually like put sandbags is the idea, you know, just like like World War, you know, one or whatever. You you, you like you dig trenches and everything. That was the idea, you know. You have like a shovel, you just dig trenches, you know, as cover. And then you, you give everybody getting shot. It's like, oh no, ah, we're under fire. Hurry, build build the trenches. Oh no, you know, stuff like that. Everybody's like working together and all that, right? Not just like making giant towers, you know, like in five seconds for no reason. Anyway, what am I doing? I got a bunch of ore. Oh yeah, I don't know why. Well, I wanted to check commissions, but the commission's probably the same anyway. So actually, I just I need to go back. Because I have a bunch of uh, copper ore, so I can make a bunch of copper bricks, right? Let's open this up. Uh, sort. Oh, I have a bunch of small clock data disk. We only need a treasure chest, I feel like. Or storage chest. I don't know what you do with this. Max health? Oh, you're placed in your house. Okay. You also use this to use a recovery machine. Research center? Oh. Hold on. Let me just... Uh, how do I... Sort all? Oh. I just want to put everything... <laughs> just put everything... Yeah, do that. Yeah. So put everything here. All the like little stackable materials anyway. That's it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, making uh, copper bars or whatever. Uh, backup account. When do I take my break? Uh, usually I... Um, two hours? You know? Not always, but usually two hours probably gonna do. I think I'll... I don't know. Uh, I really don't have anything else planned today, so most likely I'll just play this entire... I'll play this the entire time. Most likely. Anyway, uh, put some wood in there, I guess. And then make some copper bars. How much do I need? All I need was like three, right? Oh, press the wrong button. I keep pressing the wrong button. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. No, copper bar. Make. Oh, it was depleted. What? Did I waste my wood or something? Oh no, because I press circle. I keep pressing circle because I'm thinking I'm playing a Japanese game still. I don't know why. Because of Genshin Impact. I think it's Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact makes me think of Circle, right? To confirm. It's not that at all. Okay, let's make... Not Max. I don't need Max, but... How do I... Oh, oh okay. Weird. Uh, okay, and then that should be good. I assume... It takes time? Yeah, it takes time to do this. Alright, well... I need three of those. I need old parts. I don't know where you get old parts, though. Hmm. I don't know. How do you get old parts? Hmm. Metallic ring. Commonly found in relics and machine parts from the old world. Hmm. Can I, like, break down the parts that I have or something? I don't know if you can. Well, let me put this in my room anyway. Apparently it gives you a buff. <laughs> oh, lag. Uh, how do I jump? Oh, yeah. Up here and then uh, put it over here. Why not? It's a clock. Good. I need to make another chess, I feel like. Unless, can I make a better chess? Because it seems like the chess I have has limited uh, storage. Can I make a better chess somehow? Oh, does it doesn't look like it. Right, I'll just make another one of these. I need it. Down here, like so. Can I change? Yeah, I can change. Okay, I can like... Move from storage to storage. I don't know if it matters, but I'll just put this one here. No, I'll put the axe as well. It seems like the axe hasn't broken yet, so I can only assume maybe I didn't need to make two axes. You <laughs> know, maybe that was a waste. Get out of here, kid! Get out of my property! Now, who are you? You're new, right? 
No. I'm Jack. My name is not nice new. You. I hope you have a good time in town. You sound You sound like a full grown adult, you know, doing a kid's voice. Or like I actually believes there's a ghost living in the cemetery. I wouldn't want to find out. Yeah, it sounds like a it just sounds like a woman. I mean, which actually makes sense. Because usually uh that's how they uh voice act kids you know kids don't do kids ironically in a lot of like media in general like for example i mean bart from the simpsons is voiced by like a a full-grown woman because it's the same register i guess anyway do do do, -do. emily still needs that planter box i guess yeah how, how do i make that planter box again let me just double check Maybe I might be able to do it. Let's see. Let's see. A soil. Wooden board. Okay, I still need a silver cutter first. Which, in order to make the silver cutter, I need to make this first. And then I can make a silver cutter. And then I can also find some poop. Still don't know how I can find poop. Exactly. I, I mean, obviously, I know poop comes from animals that poop. But, like, how do you make an animal poop? Do you just find it on the ground or something? I don't know. Who's this person? Why are they gathering around all these birds? Sophie? Oh, this is it's an old lady. Hi. Hi. Have you seen my granddaughter? I just saw her a minute ago. Where did she go? She was can, can I spar with the <laughs> the old lady? Oh I spar with the birds! Oh, okay. Also, I wish I had my boxing gloves when I spar. That doesn't seem like I do. Can we do a slam attack? No, I can't. I can't do jump attacks. Hiya! Kill birds! Kill them all! Ow! Kill! Kill birds! Kill! Destroy! Murder! Eat the birds! Good, I, I get 9 gold. Amazing. They're all dead. You see, they're all gone! I killed them all! No, they respawn. I don't see poop. Looking for poop? I guess birds don't like poop in the same way. They, they, well, usually birds, they uh, have like, you know, very liquid poops, you know, I imagine. Hmm. McDonald. You have any poop? I have meat, I guess. Not really what I want. There you go. Okay, here's some livestock. Die. No. Poop. Poop. Any poop? Herp and poop. Any poop. Imagine in the game where you gotta like literally pick up poop and put it in your pockets. I mean, it's probably a few games already like that. A few survival games where you're like, haha, poopy. <laughs> you know, you gotta like, yeah, you gotta put poop. You gotta find poop. I don't see anything. What are you? You look like a you look like a mob. Oh yeah, you're a tw level twenty uh, illusion bunny. You re you're literally like an MMO mob. Good. Oh, out. Ow! I can't dodge it. It's too fast. Dead. Good. Obviously, well, level twenties too tough for me. Do 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 do. Oh, the battle music is uh, fading away. Now it's nice normal music again. Oh, all I'm gonna do is just chop wood, I guess. I don't know. I'm just waiting for my uh, copper bars to be be done. All these llamas. Can I kill these llamas as well? What level are they? Level four? Okay, I can kill these llamas, right? Die. 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 Okay, well, obviously using my my gloves are probably better. Actually, no, it's still hard. Good death. Also, again, very laggy. I don't know why. Die. Murder. Again, the combat system is very... Well, I like the animations, the punching, but otherwise, it's very simple. You know, there's no, like... I wish it was like parrying, you know, or like blocking or something. Nope. 
Can I just spam? That's what it seems like anyway. Just kind of spam. Let's kill these random... I guess the mobs are just all colorful. Is that what it is? It's illusion. It's not real. <clears throat> oh, there's more. This keeps respawning. Oh, no more stamina. My stamina is all gone. I didn't realize it cost that much stamina. Oh well. I guess that's it for today. <laughs> Very fruitful. Just like punch a bunch of llamas. Copper done? I guess I'll go to sleep. I assume going to sleep fast forwards time anyway. Uh, hold for settings, by the way. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Maybe you, guys, maybe you can sleep with multiple people or something. Is that how it works? PG, like, sleeping. I mean, there is dating sim. I mean, I imagine. Just like in Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon, you could, like, marry the NPCs, I guess, as well. Which all it means is, like, they... <laughs> they just stay at your house. And it's like, hey, what's up? And that's it. Mm, there's poop back of the cows. I didn't see any poop, but... Uh. Town Hall! We have an important meeting! Our announcement tonight's fireside meeting play at Peach Plaza. We shall make it at 19 o'clock sharp. Can I, can I skip it? Can I just not care? I don't care about any of you people. I hate you all. I despise all of you, you see. <laughs> now, um... I should get my, I'm get my copper ore. Actually, there you go. Ta-da! Uh... How do I? I'll put my, I'll put everything back in the chest. Uh, how do you do it like a controller? I don't want to like, switch the mouse every single time. Just like hold, right? No, it didn't work. I'll press- I'll press X. I keep pressing circle because of... Genshin Impact. <laughs> that. Okay, put that. Oh, no, I can press X. Oh, yeah, okay, press X. I didn't know you could press X. I got like, I thought I had to, like, just move it every time. Okay, there you go. Uh, my axe is gone. Hey, where's my axe? My axe. I'm gonna give my axe back. There you go. Well, I still need the uh, old part, so that's like you have to go to uh, the ruins for that. Back to the ruins, I guess. Make some money. I don't have any money. I still don't have any money. I just need money to buy a different shirt. That's all I want. You know, that's the basically the goal of this entire playthrough. I just want to buy a different shirt. Assuming I can even do that. When I buy a different shirt, that'll be it. That'll be the end of the of the playthrough, most likely. Oh, there's people here, by the way. Hey, great. Right. Oh, there's no voice, which is weird. Pay attention to where you're going. You step on there, you'll be falling a long, long way. Okay. Hello. I've been ruined diving for years, and the hazardous ruins around Porsche have some of the most interesting that I've seen. Wow. I don't know why this guy is like using his pickaxe here. It's no, you can't, you can't do it here. You can do it here though. All right, I'm gonna find machine parts though, actually, or old parts or whatever. I don't know. You gotta look for my relic scanner. Go look down, maybe. Okay, you go down. So there's one over there. And I like. I can't, I can't mine with the relic scanner on, which makes it a little bit tedious. Remember where you are and like scan every time. Well, that's just that's just what you have to do. What's this? A small engine? That's not what I want. I need old parts. No, I got old parts actually. It says they all no parts. Okay, it's part of the thing. All right. What else? This one over here. Hey, can I scan it? What? I seem to be. Oh, this something. Oh, okay, there you go. Okay, I didn't know. 
Maybe the game explained it. I didn't pay attention. I didn't know you could do that. I thought you had to just remember it. Okay, lower sulfur. Useless. I want power. I want guns. Enough power to take over this town and claim it for my own. Magic beyond imagining. Dark, evil secrets. No, I just get a sofa. That's all I just get a sofa. That's, that's all it is. Okay, power stone. And old parts. Okay, there you go. I have enough, but you know, might as well keep going, I guess. What's over here? I guess that's what it is, you know, you just kind of like... I was thinking the ruins would be, yeah, I thought it would be more like dungeons, really. You know, like actual real dungeons. But all you kind of do is just dig. <laughs> you know, you just kind of dig the whole time. It's gotta be like cool dungeons, you know? Like the Legend of Zelda dungeons. Where, like it's designed in such a way where it's fun to go through or something, but you know, it's, it's, just, it's just digging. Just digging a whole bunch. Yeah, a bunch of leather sofas. Somehow people left leather sofas in here. How's that work? I guess it's post-apocalyptic, so the idea is that maybe people used to live here or something? Before they got buried by a bunch of rocks somehow? I don't know how that works. Okay, old talker beans. What else? Hello? I don't see anything. Oh, there's one over there. Okay, I gotta dig up. No one rule in Minecraft, by the way. Again, I never play I keep saying this. I never played Minecraft, but somehow I know this. But never never like mine up because sand is just gonna drop on you and then you die or something. I, I assume in this game that's not the case. I don't know. There's one another one of these, by the way. I think you can piece three. Anything else? Oh, even further down. So much stuff further down. And also, um, digging and, you know, crafting or whatever also reminds me of Terraria, actually. I can't remember. This one, I feel like someone, like, recommended me to play Terraria one time. Or was it just, or was it me, or, or am I just crazy? Maybe I just think of, like, somebody else, but somebody else being recommended, like, Terraria. But I just remember, you know, Terraria, I mean, for one, I never really played Minecraft, and... Oh, yeah, I remember, actually. I remember comparing Terraria to Minecraft. <laughs> And then, like, you know, that's bad, apparently, because it's not like Minecraft, but I don't know, it's the same, it's, it's all the same to me. You dig, you craft, like, basically the same. Same, same kind of genre, I feel like. But yeah. Terraria's, like, 2D Minecraft, basically, is what I think. I don't know, I kind of didn't like it, because uh, even though it had more to it, I guess, the, the thing about Terraria, I guess, is, like, you know, it has, like, boss fights and everything. There's, like, unique monsters to fight and stuff like that. And there's, like, weapons. Like, it's, like, Diablo-style kind of thing where you can, like, find certain items. But, I don't know. Funnily enough, I guess I just don't like video games. But, like, I also don't like Diablo-style kind of, like, weapons, you know? I was gonna, I'm was i just ranting about video games. But, like, Terraria didn't appeal to me because, yeah, the 2D aspect, it just reminds me of, like, really cheap Flash games, basically, on Newgrounds, I remember. Where it's, like, those type of games. You know, we aim your mouse and walk around side to side. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but those kind of don't appeal to me. I already played a bunch of them on you know, on Newgrounds and or what or Flash games, or whatever. In general, I was like, eh, this doesn't appeal to me. And also because I imagine I don't know. I feel like one of the biggest things is yeah, yes, yeah. Terraria has like this thing where it's like, um. There's a bunch of weapons you can get as well, but I don't like that, to be honest. You know, it reminds me of Borderlands, you know? You know how Borderlands... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... I'm just I'm just ranting on every game now, but like... Borderlands? I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but like, I don't like Borderlands. People always... When they ever... ever when they always advertise that game... It's, uh, it's... If you didn't know, it's like a first-person, like... Shooter game, you know, with like a unique art style... And everything. And people really loved it because the idea, one of the biggest uh, selling points is that it has a bajillion guns, is the idea. Like a million, bajillion, billion combinations of different types of guns, you know? It's like, wow, so many guns. 
other video games can't do that, or whatever. But really, it's just it's just Diablo style guns, you know. As in, like the guns are just slightly different from each other, and that's it. You know, this gun shoots one percent faster than this gun, you know, and somehow that's different. I don't know. That that doesn't do it for me. That's like cheap and lazy. I don't know. It's not lazy, but you know, in a way, it, it makes the guns not unique actually, because there's so many different guns. All the guns kind of feel the same. I mean, some guns, there's some classes, you know, some are like they shoot rockets, others shoot lasers or whatever. But still, it's just it's just not that unique, you know. All of the guns just feel the same anyway. A lot of them anyway, in the same category. So it's not really like a, a billion guns. It's just slightly different guns. They have different, slightly different stats, you know. So I always, I don't know. I always felt that way about Borderlands. I'm like, when people advertise it like that, I'm like, it's not that great. Oh, so how do I get out, by the way? I'm like... I kind of dug myself into a hole and now I'm kind of lost. I don't know how to... Do I have no more stamina by the way? How do I leave? I don't know how to leave. I gotta like... Uh, uh. Okay, good. Alright. Well, I found my way out. I imagine if you dig really, really far, you'd, you'd like get lost. Or something. Anyway. Well, just in time for the announcement, by the way. I can find leather sofas, old parts, and data discs so easily, but poop is too hard. Yeah, I'll find poop later, don't worry about it. I'll find the poop later. I'll even just poop myself. I'll just poop on the, you know, what? Well, that's what Emily wants, right? He wants a planter box? I'll poop in her planter box and just give it to her. How about that, huh? Anyway. Oh, so there's a thing here? Hello, what's going on here? Hi. Hey! Hey! Oh, right. You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I've made a list of the store owners within the city walls. You should go introduce yourself. Okay, so you're gonna meet all the NPCs, I guess? Is the idea. Um, can I kill all of them real quick? Hiya! Good evening, everyone! We've been having lots of pan bat sightings. Pan bat? I know they're cute, but still, don't go near them. They're dangerous. I've asked the civil core to try something. Core. Oh, you say core. But I'm not holding up much hope. So Gail said core, but the other guy said corpse. I don't know. I feel like maybe the voice actors weren't on the same page. Anyway. We all know what a pandemic infestation's like. Sometimes I wish we had a tank. Well, can I craft a tank? In other news, we've decided to proceed with the building of a bridge to Amber Island. A builder has already been picked for this project. Also, we are in preparations for the construction of the DG transportation system. I'll be securing the funding over the coming weeks and pick a builder soon. Any donations are welcome. What? What? How come I didn't hear about the bridge? When was this? Oh, now I finally get to fish there. He's asking for money again. He's asking for money again. <laughs> Finally, we have a new builder in town this week who lives in the old workshop outside the city gate. Let's all give a warm welcome. Let's all give a warm welcome. <laughs> Just they like, didn't say name, obviously. But look at me and my boxing gloves. Good. Punch. Punch. Kill. Murder. Maim. Injure. Everyone has like a bunch of quests, I guess. Ugh, I can't help all these people. Too many people. Yeah, can I craft a tank? You know, it's very important. I want to craft a tank. Uh, what's up, by the way? Uh, Ski Blue. Ski Blue 1737. Yes. Even, well, when I like... You know, when I say people's names in chat, do I say the numbers or... Do I not? Or just say Ski Blue? Obviously. Anyway, um, what am I doing? Uh, I have all parts. Oh yeah, I have all parts. What is over here? Oop. There you go. I made the thing. This is just one thing, by the way. I still need to make another thing. On top of using this thing to make another thing. And it goes on forever. Unlimited crafting. Eh. Mm. I don't know. I feel like this... I wish I had a bigger place. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if I'll put it over... I want to put it like next to the uh, thing. But I guess I can't. It looks weird if I put it here. Hmm, I guess I'm fine. Okay, that works. Alright, so... The next thing I need to do is make... 
this thing, the civil cutter, and then I can make the wooden bridge. So, for the civil cutter, I need copper blades, so I gotta use the grinder to make the copper blade. Make the stone into the stone bricks. I should be have I should have plenty of stone actually from all the from all the mining, I guess. Can I let's see, this leather sofa. Okay, I can put it in my my house, so I'm gonna inventory here. So uh hold uh, attack plus ten. Oh it's a it's a weapon, okay. It's a weapon. But I like punching, you know. I gotta like this. Too full. The old taco piece. Let's put that away. Eyeglass. Thermos piece. Some discs. That way. Put all of this away. Actually, I should, I should stack it, right? Unless, is 99 like the full stack? Or something? I wonder. I don't think so. No, it's not. I should put them in the same stack, you know? The save room. I wish it was automatic. Uh, unless can I sort it like that? No, it doesn't release. It sorts in the, if the thing. It doesn't store it in the actual entire global inventory, you know? Put that away. All right. Oh, actually. Did I put the wrong thing? Did I put the wrong thing? I didn't put the sofa right. I want to put the power stone in, not the sofa. I want to keep the sofas so that I can put three sofas in my room. Is that how it works? Does it, does it stack in that sense? Stacks in my inventory. Does it stack in my home? So here's the sofa. Can I... Oh, hello? Try and put it down. Oh, oh it's too close, too close to the bed, I guess. And another sofa. And another... These old sofas. Eh, yeah, they're a little bit old. A little stuffing is coming out of them, but you know, it's usable. Might be a little dirty though. This is why you don't, know, you know, when, when people throw out the the furniture in the the dumpster, it's probably a bad idea to like pick it up for yourself because there's just a <laughs> because it's there's probably a bunch of like bugs and stuff. They probably threw it out for a reason. Minecraft. Uh, let's see here. I guess we'll just go bed. What was I talking about before? I think I was talking about something about Borderlands. But yeah, well, because I, I definitely went on a, a really weird tangent, but like, the reason why I talk about Warlands and all his weapons, because I, you know, I feel like it's similar to, to Diablo, which is another game I guess people <laughs> love, but it's like, you know, a lot, there's a lot of weapon variation, but you know, you know how in Diablo, you don't keep all your weapons, you know, you, you just go for the better one, it's better and better and better, right? In that sense, I guess I, I can see why people like it, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem all that great to me. Because even then, even if there's like a lot, a ton of item variation, you're just going to use like one or two of them anyway. So that's one of the biggest aspects of Terraria, I feel like, is uh, not all that great anyway. Anyway, it's fishing day, apparently. Annual Porsche fishing day. I don't have a fishing rod. So people just have events, I guess. I can't even participate. And apparently here's Dawa, Keeper of the Borsha Tree Farm. So we have to some fencing. Uh, we need five wooden boards. You know what? Actually, I probably can make five wooden boards, so I'll probably accept that. All right, there you go. Let's see here. Um, It's been about two hours, actually. So I think I'll take a quick break. You know, yeah, back. I, we, I, don't know, again, I don't know if I put this on YouTube, actually. I don't know if I'll do it like... The way I do Genshin Impact, where I just post the entire stream, or will I just cut them up? I'm not sure exactly. I don't know. There's no way to pause. I, well, if I pause, there'll just be no music, which I don't like. I was gonna say, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll cut it up that way, but no, no. Because it'd be a weird thing to say if I cut it up, like, in four parts, and there'd be one part where I say I'm taking a break. But I'm not, actually. This is the next video. I'll probably upload the next day or something. Anyway, um... You know what? Yeah, whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? This game? I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll uh, continue on. Play a little bit more, I guess. But first, I'll take a quick break. Uh, go to the washroom, grab a snack, and I'll be right back after uh, a few minutes, probably. And then maybe continue to play a little bit more. I guess, you know, it's okay. It's okay so far. I guess I probably won't play it long term, but today will just be this game, I guess. There you go. Be right back.
Ugh. All right. Let's continue. Get my controller. All right. In the game, I just kind of sat here for like hours. My character just sat on this like dirty sofa, staring at a wall for the entire day. Good. Anyway, I have stamina though, so might as well use it somehow. Um. So again, yeah, what are we doing? So we can, yeah, we're making the silver cutter now. So I need stuff. Let's see. Stone brick, copper blade. So, gotta make some stone bricks. Do I have enough for a stone brick? Five stone bricks, let's see. So, I need five of them. I can refuel a little bit like so. And then craft a five of them like so. I don't even need, I need, I need 10 of them, I need a five. Good, amazing. Uh, oh. Maybe I should've, yeah, maybe I should've did this before taking my break. Oh well, <laughs> whatever. Uh, let's see. Now, we also need the cutter blade. Anything else? Is that it? Stone brick and cutter? No, copper blade? Alright, I assume it's this thing. The copper blade, we need cop copper bars. So, I also need copper bars. So, I need, like, how much in total? Like, uh, you gotta do math. Ah, math. Math too hard. Math hurts brain. Um, the two of those, this, is, this reminds me of like MMO. This is the reason, like, crafting's not really my thing, because... I don't know, for me, crafting is just a way to get something, but obviously like this, like games like these and other crafting survival games and stuff like that, the crafting itself is the fun, right? That's the idea, I feel like. But I don't know, it's just like, my brain hurt because I don't have to do math. Like basic, you know, arithmetic. But, um, so what, like, four, right? I mean, yeah, I need four, four in total. So I need four uh, copper bars in total. Four of these. Refuel, I guess. And then, uh... Graph? Uh, not cancel. Hmm. Oh, okay, so you only do it one at a time? Okay, well... So maybe, okay, maybe there's, um... There's a benefit to having multiples of, uh... The same furnace, you know? Then you can, like, craft multiple things at once. So let me double check if I have enough in the first I mean, I assume I have enough. I have plenty, you know, when I got ores. So I just need, yeah, I have enough. So I just need to make two more of those and then put it over there and then wait for that, I guess. And then we'll have enough to make the silver cutter. And then after making the silver cutter, we can then start on the bridge. So what do we need for the bridge as well? Uh, let's see. For the bridge, we need to use a silver cutter to turn hardwood into hardwood planks. Hmm, wait a minute, but how do I get hardwood? I can get normal wood, but hardwood? Hmm. We also need copper pipe, apparently. That's from the grinder as well. Three of those. Copper bars. Okay, copper pipes. <sighs> Too much. <sighs> Remember, uh, copper pipe. Okay, copper pipe. Two. Two, so... <clears throat> I also need... Six. Six of those. Plus this. I guess I just read this, right? I, I guess the game just tells you, so just... <laughs> so six plus four is ten. So I need to remember to make ten of those. In total. I need to get bronze bars as well. It's a lot. We need a lot. We need a lot of copper. <laughs> we need a lot of copper, by the way. It's a lot of copper. Right. Let's see. I also need to make uh, planks, by the way. Talisman. Okay, that, this is how you make talismans? Oh, you need marbles, though. I don't have a lot of those. Let's make a, probably make another storage. I keep pressing cancel. Ah, I keep pressing cancel. I'm pressing the wrong button. The circle, you know? I keep thinking circle is the confirm. It's not. Let's put it down there. Just in case I need to put more stuff in there. The music's okay, I guess. You know? uh, from the bushes? Do I get... Well, the hardwood from the bushes, you mean, or I'm not sure? Because I was talking about the hardwood, right? I think. 
Um, how do you make planks? I guess you'll use it. Well, yeah, well, probably have to use like a civil cutter to make planks, right? I assume. I was like, yeah, I need copper blades for like another quest as well. Someone needs like three copper blades. And again, obviously, the small plant blocks use wooden boards. But silver cutter, yeah. So I still make the silver cutter first. I'm just waiting, I guess. Um, uh, just wood. Because I thought hardwood. I imagine hardwood be, would be like these big trees, right? But I can't. I can't do this yet. Because they need a better axe. Kick. Yeah, it just have wood and plant fiber. I don't see any hardwood. All right, I need wood anyway, so let's make let's get these. Uh, not these bushes, well, <laughs> you know. Well, those bushes, but not those bushes. Not these bushes. How do you tell? I don't know. Hey, whatever. I'm not complaining. It's just you know, hey, whatever. Sap. Let's see. I need stone too, right? Well, I mean, you always need stone and you always need wood and you need a lot of things forever and ever and ever. All of time. I feel like these games just give you an existential crisis. You know, it's just never enough. It's never enough. Always more, forever. A big rock up, oh, but you need a better pickaxe. I make a better axe and pickaxe. I'm not sure actually. Oh, Emily, wait, Emily's just waiting for a planter box, but she'll never get it because I'm never, I'm not done yet. I can make any of these. What can you make ammo? Oh, I can make guns. Good power of gun. Yeah, it says here, hardwood is from logs. I don't know. Let's see, bronze axe. Okay, make a bronze axe, you can get bronze bars. Hmm. Can I upgrade kit? I don't know, You, I guess you have to buy that from a store. Maybe, or you just find it somehow. Not sure exactly how you do that. Wild cocoon and copper bar to make a fishing rod. Hmm. I don't want to delve into fishing now, or, as well. Oops, I didn't mean to... I can't use a pickaxe on a tree, I guess. I see a car over there, by the way. It was over there. So insufficient, I don't know what this is. Capture? I guess for capturing animals, maybe? But I, I'm interested in this car. What's, what's, the, what's this car doing here? Is this just going around? Hello? Oh, yeah, that. Hello? Car? I'm gonna be in your way. No. Aha! Get wrecked. I'm gonna delay your, your bus stop? I assume it's a bus, I guess. Is it a bus? Get on? Oh, okay. Is it just free? Is this public transportation? Good. Oh, in my city, you gotta pay for this. You know, you gotta pay for the... the to get on the bus ride. You can't just go on. Not free. Oh, I keep doing that. I just like, I wish I could just do this. Come on, go. Go. No? Come on. Go. It's not going. Whatever. <laughs> more llamas. Sure, I'll just kill some more llamas. Llamas are sleeping, but I must destroy them. Sorry. I imagine you can turn the meat into something as well, probably food or whatever, but I mean I don't need something else for that. I don't know. I don't know what. Kick. Kick. Right, let's see. 
Um, da, 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 da. um Hold the sword all. I keep trying to do it, but Okay, there you go. Oh, I got some poop by the way. I don't know where I got poop from, but there's poop. Put the poop away. Put it in the box. Good. I don't remember actually. Now, where did I get poop from? Maybe I gather it somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. Also, I keep putting my axe away because I had two axes, I guess. It keeps doing that because I have two axes. Maybe that's why. And I just like, how do I. How do I like. Abandon, I guess? Yeah. Oh. Let's just destroy that axe. I guess you only you really only need like one tool each, I guess. You don't need like multiple tools. Snake berry. Can I eat the snake berry? Mm. I don't know if you can. Use. 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 Okay, it's for HP, so I can't. Which makes sense. I thought it was like, because uh, when I initially got it, I thought it was like, you use it for stamina, you know? No, it's, it's just, it's, it's just for HP. Open. Is it open? Still don't have any money, by the way. <laughs> and the, uh, the game looks so peaceful, and then you start, and then I start kickboxing llamas, yes. That's how I play this game, you see. Hey, Risa, by the way. Um, everything's closed, so. Nothing to do. Except go to sleep, I assume. Is there fast travel? I think someone, uh. Someone, men someone mentioned there's fast travel, maybe. I thought you had to unlock fast travel or something. But can you just, like, do this? Oh, you can mark it. Oh, never mind. Okay, maybe not. About you. Name's Sanwa. Nice to meet you, Builder. Y'all look so weird. I'm gonna be honest, everyone looks weird in this world. Let's fight. I'm gonna fucking destroy you. Die. This reminds me actually. Oh, he's level 22. Okay, well, he's way stronger than me. This was this was a mistake, actually. The heck? He's so strong. I was gonna say though, this kinda reminds me of another game. I can't remember what it was. What was it? Like, it was like an RPG game. But the idea was just like fighting anybody, you know? It's like this, right? You, you could just spar anybody, I guess, for no reason. I guess you get like a few bucks, but it's not that big of a deal. But, um... I forget what it was called, but it was some RPG. Because I was looking for like interesting RPGs, right? I think it was on the PS2, I could be wrong. I want to say Radiata... Radiata Stories? But that could be a different game, not entirely sure. But it was, it was like a game... The art style was actually, you know, kind of like this, you know, except more like JRPG, I guess. A little bit more cutesy. Um, and it was like, you know, a, a very generic JRPG when I played it anyway. And the prologue, it looked pretty okay. But the idea, the one of the selling points was the fact that you can, you can kind of do anything, right? It's like similar to like in this game and like a lot of other games, like simulation games, where all the NPCs have their own routine and everything. Well, it's just draw, I guess. But every, every NPC have this, has their own routine, they walk everywhere, you know, when they go to a town, they actually, like, go to work, they go eat, they go sleep and all that. But what you could do in that game is actually fight anybody, you know? It sounds cool, you know? It's like basically like prototype, you know, Skyrim, basically. Um, I remember you could just, you could challenge anybody and just start fighting them for no reason. You know, you would just like, hi, I will fight you now, and then you go into like an RPG battle. I didn't like the, uh, the the big the only reason I didn't like uh, really continue playing it is because the, uh, the the battle system was really I don't know it was just really awkward I didn't like it it was like this weird like turn based RPG but like I think it was turn based but like there's like a grid on it I don't know it's weird I didn't like it or I think it was action though I think it was an action RPG anyway it was it's just really rough you know the combat so I I didn't really want to play it the idea was cool you know you could just challenge anybody anywhere you know that's funny but. I don't think you can kill them though. You just kind of like, you kind of duel them and you're like, I want to fight you. And they're like, okay, and then that's it. After you win or lose, it doesn't really matter. So unlike in Skyrim where you just murder somebody unless they have a essential tag, I guess. Da, da, da. 
Alright, I have a stone brick, so I'll put it over here. Alright, now I need copper blades. So in order to make copper blades, I need a lot of uh, copper bars. And I might as well make at least 10, right? I guess, well, I don't know. I don't know if there's a reason to make as many as you can. Should I just make as many as I can? Uh, if I make the max, I guess it's 10, because at least it refuel, I guess. Okay. Well, whatever, I'll just make 10. Oop. Like so, there you go. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying to see, like, what else do I need? So I know, you know, in the future. I mean, I just need a lot of copper, right? A lot of copper. And some stone. And hardwood. So I'm not against hardwood. Well, it says here, the bigger the tree, the harder the, it's wood. <laughs> it's like the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So okay, no, no, okay. So I, I, I think I was right. It's just from the big trees. That's all it is. I think it's from the big trees, but in order to cut the big trees, you need a... Uh, a better axe. So get a better axe. Uh, you get a better axe. You gotta like craft the the bronze stuff. So we're gonna get a bronze, like a bronze axe. You need a bronze bar. You gotta get it from a stone furnace, which I believe this is. This is a stone furnace, right? Stone furnace and an upgrade kit. Okay, how how much is an upgrade kit? Because that will influence my decision. I don't know. I haven't really explored the town all that much. Let's see. Can you go in? I imagine you can go in some of the buildings, maybe. Can you? Can you go inside here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm looking for a store, maybe. What's it called? Tools or something? Total Tools or something. Like that? Hmm? That school bell? Is there school in this town, maybe? Higgins is running around. Don't push. Screw you. Die. Punch you in the face. Die. <laughs> Just kick you right in the neck. No, um... Where it makes it like a castle town, I guess. It's a castle, except it's more modern. Watch there, I guess. Okay, fine. What do you want to say? What, what do you want? Welcome to our little town. Hope you have a wonderful time. My store sells clothing and costumes, so if hmm. you ever need to upgrade your armor or suit for a date... I would like see. armor. Now you look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you something for free as a leg up. I'm not a kid, Don't lady. my husband, though. Okay. Then gave me some cloth. Good. Is this school? I guess it's school. I don't want to go to school. Okay, here you go. There's, there's, there's total tools. Is the store owner a total tool? I don't know. Um, can I just buy stuff? Okay, well, I, can, I can just. Oh, it's like a you know, it's like a trust system. You know, the, there's no store owner here, but it's like a trust system where they like they let you buy stuff, but you just have to put the money in the cash register. They just trust you to do it. Um, it costs too much though. Yeah, 175. I only have three. What? I only have 36 bucks. Is that true? I thought I had more than that. Where did my money go? Oh, it's because oh yeah, because I, I bought the uh, the weekly pass for the ruins diving thing. Yeah, that's what it was. I need more money. I need money. I need money, Pinky. What are you? Who even are you? You're a cat. Oh, okay. You're a pink cat. That's what it is. I thought you were like a pig, like the other one, but it's not. All right. Well, in order to make money, probably have to do commissions. Let me just check the commissions because there's a lot of things I can't make yet for people. But maybe I'll make it later anyway. So then maybe I can make some money from the commissions. I can also sell things directly. I guess that's is that what they said? Okay, four wooden storages. You know, I can make this actually. Yeah, I can make storage boxes. Uh, this person needs seven boards. Can't make that yet. Seven six stone stools. I think I can make that. Oh, I can only accept one? Oh, okay. Well, I'll just make the boxes, I guess. Let's make some boxes. As I wear these boxing gloves. It's very fitting, you see. What do you have to say? Nice to have you. Nice to have you. You can come to my shop. You can come to my shop. I'm a total tool. At the total tool. So I'm going to give you these for free as a leg up. 
Don't tell my wife, though. Okay, uh, you, you're actually the same uh, person that was mentioned before. You're the husband of the wife that I just talked to, and you have the same dialogue. I guess that's that's supposed to be ironic. Run, 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 run. All right, I want to put all my stuff back. I have so much stuff. I have too much stuff in this game. Uh, let's see. Then I don't know. Now hold, hold it down. Maybe hold it. Hold no, press the other button. Okay, like that, and then I guess put that away. Put this away. Put this away. Put this away. I need. I I need like more storage space. Again, it's too much stuff in this game. Oh uh, no! no oh, one's empty actually. Never mind. Maybe not. No, maybe not so much. Anyway, I need uh four wooden storage boxes. Right? That's what I said. So I need four of these, and I think I have enough. Twenty each, though. One, two, three, four. Like so, all right. So I think that's enough. Now how do I hand it in? I'm not entirely sure. Do I just go back to the commissions, or do I got to go to the person? Maybe. Maybe you hand it directly to the person. What's this actually? Oh, huh? who might you be? Who might you be? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're you're the person that asked for the commission. Here you go. This is pretty well made. If you're feeling well, come to Clint to get a checkup. I got money. Yes, money. That's all I want. What is this? Church store? Okay. Our church only takes relics from the age of corruption. The age of corruption? I don't know what that is, but I got money. Now that I have money, I can buy the total tools thing. All I really want is buy a shirt, though. I just kind of want to buy a shirt. That's my, again, that's my ultimate goal in this game, to buy a different shirt. Or at least something, you know? That's all I want. But maybe to continue to make more money, I gotta buy tools first. What do you have in a clothing store, by the way? I can buy, huh, buy clothes, buy just a modern jacket, I guess. Gives you max stamina. Let me buy uh, this thing first. Okay, upgrade kit. Guess we'll buy one. It's all my money though. And then I can use this to upgrade my, my axe. I made, and then I can use the axe to make, get some hardwood. You get the hardwood to get more stuff, I guess. Amazing. I mean, I guess that's the uh, again, that's the idea. You know, that's why people play these games. They like that, you know. Apparently, Welcome. crazy. If you're in need of a I like the idea of just like grades, making better stuff for the stuff that they make to make better stuff to make more stuff to make better stuff to make the stuff that they make for the stuff. Anyway, I kind of ignored your dialogue here, Albert. Um, house or workshop upgrades? Oh yeah, they did mention that. If you want to upgrade your workshop, you guys, you talk to this guy. Oh, he's going to the he's going to the restaurant first though, or something. Let's see. So I can't I can't make it yet because I need bronze bars. I gotta wait for this. Uh can I make another stone furnace? Just so it's faster, I wonder. Can I make a stone furnace again? Mm. I actually forgot. Unless oh well it's probably all oh, the assembly station. I think that's what it is. Oh, let me check. Stone furnace is wood and a stone stool. Okay, it's pretty easy to make. I might want to consider making another one after I make this civil cutter. I imagine you can't make multiple. I can walk and retrieve it, eh, whatever, I'm lazy. <laughs> what I want to do right now, though, is get more copper ore, because copper ore is very important, it seems. I need more, way more of that to continue making all the other things, you know? How do I... Where's that? And then confirm. There you go. Also put this thing away. Yes. Okay. Let's use my mouse. Minecraft. <laughs> this is my workshop. Minecraft. Anyway. Let's see here. I guess go back to the mines. Back back to the mines. Back to the salt mines. I see what was this? Oh, that's construction. Okay, I was wondering what that was. It's the construction shop thing.
Back to the mines. Taking commissions from the commerce skills can be the best way to make money, as it says. Let me read the rest of it, though. Alright. Well, while we're... I mean, I want uh, copper ore, but... Is this copper ore? Hello? Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's copper ore. Okay. I was gonna say, I want copper ore, but I might as well look for relics while I'm here as well. At the same time, though, it won't give me copper ore necessarily unless... I specifically hit the parts where there is copper. Is this copper? I think it's copper ore right here. Might as well take this up as well. Oop. Beep. Oh, there we go. Copper ore. Is this copper ore? That's just stone. Sand. I assume that's copper. Mm -hmm. You know, I read apparently, you know, very quickly before I even started streaming this game. Like, again, I didn't have much pre preparation, you know. I just kind of like decided to play this game because, again, it was suggested. And it was like, oh, well, I might as well. I have like nothing else to play, so I might as well play this. Um, I look up the uh, Steam page, you know, for Steam reviews. One of the negative reviews, actually, which I guess does kind of suck. I don't know if it's been updated, but someone did say that they were colorblind and they couldn't see, you know, the, the copper ore, you know? I think that's that was like a legitimate complaint. It's like, well, can't play this game because I don't know where the copper ore is. <laughs> I can't see. So, I don't know if the game ever updated that. When did this game come out? I think it came out in 2019, actually. It was like two years ago. Or around two years ago. Maybe not exactly, but maybe something like that. I don't know what month it came out on, though. But yeah, someone, you know, said, like, they couldn't play this game because they're colorblind, so they can't see the copper ore. I guess which sucks. If they wanted to play this game anyway. I guess they'll just play something else. Oh, well. I mean, I could see that, you know? Even, I'm not I'm not colorblind, but even I can see, yeah, it's a little hard to see the copper ore. It's very similar to just the other brown spots in the game. I feel like. There's a, there's a lot here, though. Pop. Give me your copper ore. Give me your copper ore. Give me all of the copper ore. Ping. Ping. I wonder what, um... I mean, you can upgrade your pickaxe as well, right? I wonder if it does anything. Does it just mine faster, or like... Or there's certain rocks you can't hit? That's what I'm thinking. I haven't seen any rocks I haven't been able to destroy. No, there was the, no, there was the big rock. I don't know, no, there was like the big rock in the open world. You couldn't destroy it without a better pick, pickaxe, so I guess there's that. I was just wondering, you know, in this situation, do you need like a better pickaxe? Does it help in this situation? I don't know. I can't. It's like this one outcropping of stuff. Okay, give me that. You know, I feel like in real life, this isn't this easy. <laughs> you know, like, in real life, I know like real like copper or any kind of ore really. It's, it's not this easy to just grab. They're like really small and you gotta like sift through it, you know, and everything. I imagine, well, in modern times, there's like machines to do that, I guess. But to do it by hand is like really hard. Uh, Risa, have I ever played Rune Factory? It's uh, pretty much like my Harvest Moon story in combat. But it's anime. Yeah, I've heard of it. I never played it, though. But I've heard of it. It's, yeah, basically Harvest Moon. I, I mentioned it before, but yeah. Harvest Moon with combat and everything. I believe there was one... Well, was it... I believe on the... Was it the Wii? I can't remember. There was like one Rune Factory that people really liked and I was like considering playing that one because there's a, there's a there's a few you know games in the series but I imagine you know I don't really want to play them all because it's, you know it's the same game you know over and over again I feel like just like any kind of game like this it's like it's, it's the same game <laughs> if I'm gonna play one of them I want them to be the best and also have like a good story but I don't know again again I'm just really just trying this out for a little bit as well, so it's not really my type of game anyway. It really depends on, I don't know. This is... Hmm. 
I guess the biggest thing is just like the world, you know? A lot of these survival games are just kind of like the worlds are pretty generic. I'm gonna be honest. Like, it's just nothing interesting about the world. I, mean, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Or at least interesting. Well, it could be interesting to some people, maybe, but. Or maybe a lot of people, but to me anyway, it's not interesting. Enough. It's just generic fantasy world. Nothing bad happens. Everyone's just happy all the time. I don't know. Or otherwise, you know, there is no story. It's just like multiplayer. I guess. But I don't know how... It, the thing is, I don't know. I'm, I'm just so picky, I guess. But like, I don't know how you would make a game like this appeal to me. <laughs> is the thing. Like obviously people like the mechanics themselves, but again, I'm not again, I'm not really like a mechanics person. Like to me, it's it's the story first. I don't I don't I don't always mean story like narrative, I guess. Because sometimes obviously I might get bored of narrative, it's like it's too, you know not appealing to me. But I don't know. Story as in like I feel like immersed in the world, I guess. And uh, you know? I feel like these games are not really focused on that. It's just it's kind of like, it's like the mechanics. You know, people like it for the mechanics. And it's like, I like having a reason to do what I do in a video game, I guess, rather than just the game itself, if that makes sense. Some people just play the games for the game, you know? It's like, that's cool, I guess, but I want a reason, you know? I want a reason why I'm doing any of this. Otherwise, I just feel like I'm just doing nothing. I want like a real, like, urgent reason. That's a lot of copper, by the way. Still more copper to like, yeah. But anyway, it's relieving. There's a lot of fighting. It doesn't have to be combat. I like combat, like you know, Dark Souls combat, I guess. But it doesn't have to be about fighting. But I guess it usually is. I don't know. I don't know what again. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it like a game needs to do to really appeal to me in this kind of, in this kind of genre. I really don't. Unless, unless you count Genshin Impact, I guess. I mean, I don't know, I guess exploration, that's the biggest thing, right? Exploration. Like the the frontier or like something, you know? Something like really a cool world. Where nobody has explored yet or something. I don't know. But then again, I don't really like like... Survival games in the sense where everything's empty. You know? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just, I, I just can't. Nothing. I just, I just can't. It's just video games. I can't. I just don't like all video games. I guess I don't know. It just feels like the more I think about like what kind of games I like, I just don't like anything. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, got a bunch of copper ores. Can I get out of these actually? Yeah, I got that. Get more of those. Still, still doing that. But I got some copper blades though. Let's see. Make the oh, fuel. Oh, I got, I'll get the power stones. Okay. Well, how much power stones do I? I gotta get power stones to, like, power that up? I don't have a lot of those, I feel like. I have four? They're very, you know, very, uh... Very, uh, scarce, I feel like. Huh. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll put it in. Okay. So, I also need some copper blades, so... Imagine make two, I think. Was it? I have to wait, I think. Yeah. Grr, grinding. Mm, hard, hard to add much depth to farming crops. Mm, I guess so. I mean, again, it, it definitely appeals to some people. Did I? I don't know if I mentioned before, but it's it's the same thing of Animal Crossing for me. I don't know. Animal Crossing as well. A lot of people love it. You know, a lot of people love it, and yet it doesn't appeal to me. I don't know. It, it just feels too shallow to me. I don't mean it needs to be like complicated in the sense like complicated mechanics, more so I don't I just feel like I'm not doing anything, you know, in this video game. It's like I'm just getting materials and meeting these villagers. I don't know. Nothing gets done. There's no reason to to life. You know, there's no like purpose to anything. It's all it means nothing. It's 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 meaningless. Ah, whatever. Crops are death and self. Is there any like because there, there's a lot of these farming games that kind of take it very casually? Is there like a farming game that's really, really like hardcore? 
Because I imagine in real life, it's not this easy to like... Well, I haven't grown any crops yet, but you know. In, in a lot of video games, it's, it's not that easy to grow crops. You know, you, you don't just water it every day and that's it. It's a lot harder than that. You gotta like keep it away from like... Like insects, you know, and like... Make sure it's growing in a proper way. There's like genetics that goes into it. I don't know. There's like a science to it. It's probably some kind of simulation game like that. Probably very, very niche though. Now let's see. I'll grab this. Upper blade. Good. Oh, I need to equip it first and then do that. There you go. I made a cutter thing. Good. Amazing. Wow. Um, I guess I'll put it near the house. I'll put it over here. I'll just cover the vents, you know, somehow. It's gonna cause a lot of fumes. Go inside the vents. I'm gonna, like, suffocate inside my own house. Oh, well. Alright. So! What do I need? I can, um... I can now... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Keep doing that. I keep trying to use my D-pad to, like, go to the next page, but it's not a D-pad. It's, uh, got I need to make a wooden bridge head and also wooden bridge body. But I guess I'll make the head first. It seems like the easiest, the easier thing to do. I'll do that first. So I need uh, a copper pipe, three of them. I need hardwood, and also make a bunch of copper bore, copper bore, copper bars. Our fuel depleted. Any. Refuel it. Did you making those bars? Hmm, excuse. Me. Okay, bronze axe. So I need bronze bars for those. So I need like. Well, how about if I make another? Let's see. How about? Uh, actually, let's cancel this. Actually, I said before. What if I make another stone furnace? No, don't stop doing that. Keep pressing D-pad. Stone furnace. So, I'll make another one of these, like so. I need a stone stool and wood. How do I make a stone stool again? I think it's just crafting. Stone stool, just make one of these. Place it here. I also need some wood. I gotta grab it from the wooden storage, I think. Let's do that real quick. Alright, there you go. So, another one of this. Just so I have two going at once. Because I'm waiting for this one, you know, I want the other one to be ready as well. Um, I like to be symmetrical though, or not symmetrical, I'd rather have like everything in one place if possible. That's why I wrote this. It never matters, I'll just do like that. I wish I could move this, can I? Can I just do this? It's still, is it still making the thing? I don't know if it still is. I mean, is that it? Yeah. Okay, no, it's still making the bar, even though I picked it up. I don't know how that works, but yeah, that's how it works, I guess. Uh, how do I, I pick this up again? I like, you know, I like how we organize, you know? Put over here like that, all together. Also for sale. For sale? Oh, okay. Oh, you can expand your property. Okay. That's interesting. Let's see. So while that one's going on, I want to craft some bronze bars. So I need copper and tin. That oh, reminds me of RuneScape, actually. I remember. It's the same thing, RuneScape. You need like copper and tin, right? Let's see, just to make sure how much I need. I need uh three. Okay. So hopefully I can make some so. Okay, it takes ten hours though. So I'll be waiting for that. You know, I know in uh uh, make more actually. Like so. I know in uh, RuneScape, you know, all you had to do was like, you do this motion where you just like put your hands into this smelting furnace. It took like a few seconds, you know? But not this game, I guess. You gotta wait. Anyway, um, what am I doing? Let's see. Put these away, I guess, as well. Boop, boop. I'm just waiting, I guess. Waiting for the bronze bars, waiting for the... Copper, as well. Alright. Can I make a planter box? I don't think... No, I had to make hardwood first. Right? 
I need uh, yeah wooden boards and wooden boards you need like wooden boards you need no I can make it right now actually these power stone though ah I need more power stone how do you get more power stone does it say or does it just you just get it from the ruins because they they seem rare you know they don't seem like an easy thing to get I only have two yeah abandoned ruins and how is this ruins you gotta get, gotta get that oh ah, well whatever um. I already got enough poop. Uh, RuneScape hard, hard, uh, hard, hardcore Iron Man. When is that a thing? Can you even do that? RuneScape's an MMO, right? How do you do like a? I guess if you accidentally just walk into a mob or something. I remember actually, uh, you know, early OG like RuneScape. Like before, I got like burnt out on MMOs. I guess it was like a cool world, you know. It felt like a real world. It's like everybody who's played any kind of like an MMO for the first time. I guess it's like, oh wow, it's a real world. It's like ah, you can go anywhere, you know. Like everything, because everything, you don't know where anything is. You're like, oh, it's so dangerous. Go over here. And it's like, there's, there's like wizards over here. And there's like this, there's like a black knight fortress. And you just walk around, and just, you just find certain, like certain places. It's like, it's cool, right? Because uh, everything is new to you. But, you know, I imagine realistically, like, RuneScape, like, I, mean, I know it's a joke, but I wonder if we can actually do that. Because the only reason you would, like, die would be if you just somehow walk into, like, a bunch of mobs and. You're under level and they kill you. Or maybe you go to the wilderness. Remember the wilderness? I think that was like... I mean, I didn't want to play RuneScape, I guess. But I remember the wilderness. Like a PvP zone. Like a very dangerous place, you know? Like you just walk around and get killed or whatever. I think it's been nerfed, though. Like modern RuneScape, the wilderness, the PvP zone is like very, like, nerfed. It used to be the case that um, in the original, the wilderness, like if you go, go in that zone... Because normally, obviously, in the, the rest of the world, when you walk around, nobody can just like kill each other or anything you know it, it's not really a thing unless you go to the arena i guess but in the wilderness all bets are off you're not safe anymore you know there's no like safety thing so anyone could just walk up to you just murder you in the wilderness you know that's the thing you do so everyone you know i always remember it's like a very dangerous place you know it's like oh you, sh you shouldn't go to the wilderness it's very dangerous you know it's like oh no that's where like the, the the pkers you know would just come up to you and just slash you in the face with their like rune skimmies or whatever. I don't know. Um, anyway, um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm looking at the wooden board. So I need three of those. I was just looking for. I don't know. I got distracted by RuneScape, but I need three of them. So can I use my thing? Uh, let's just use one, maybe, if possible. Can I use only one? Yeah, one. One day. Craft like three of them, like so, and that takes time too. Uh, everything's take. Everything takes time. All the time. Everything takes time. Who are you, Sam? Haven't seen you around. Where are you from? I'm from Earth. Let's see. It's beautiful outside the town, right, little fellow? Right, little fellow, who are you talking to? Also Spar? Sure, why not? She has like a boxing glove though. So I imagine she's pretty powerful. Yeah, I'm level eight still. Eh. No, she just need me in the face and just destroyed me. I'm dead. Good. I lost money. She, she likes me better though. But I lost my money. <laughs> I lost four gold. Good. Amazing. The game keeps lagging. I don't know. I don't know if this is the same thing. Did, did I put, I think I put this in my solid stage drive, I think. But like, I don't know. It keeps lagging for some reason. It's weird. Like anytime there's like a new interaction of something that hasn't happened in the world yet. It like it loads a little bit and stutters. It doesn't, it doesn't happen anymore once you like do the thing. You know, for example, if you like cut a tree. The first time I cut a tree, it lagged. But now that I cut a tree, nothing happens, but... I don't know, it's weird. I don't know why that keeps happening. I wonder if it happens to anyone else. Because otherwise the game runs smooth, right? It's fine. I even like lower the graphics, but... Just to be sure, but... now it's still not lot. Anyway. Llamas over there. I should explore more. I don't know. I've been just doing going to the same place over and over again. I should just look around some more, you know? That's part of the fun of this game. It's like a big world, right? If you look at the map, I guess. Uh, oh, I keep pressing the slot. I keep pressing start. That's not the menu. And no music. Every time, there's always no music. I guess the fun of the game is like exploring, right? I guess that's it. Can you go to a different place? I assume Porsche is the entire map. I assume, right? But, you know, there's still places I haven't went to yet. I guess. 
Let's just look around. I don't know. Go over here. Da -da -da -da. There's monsters though. <laughs> that will like probably just kill you. I see a chest by the way. What level are you? Level six. I could I could take you. Ah yeah. Die. Die. Die, you weird crap thing. Ow, ow, ow. You're dead. Good. Amazing. Can I swim? What? Uh, what? Oh, I can't swim. There's no swimming in this game, really? Is that... Okay. There's not even animation. You just fade to black. It's like, whoop. Nope. I guess not. Um, how do you get on that island, then? I wonder. Is the water ste is steep enough over here, maybe? I can't tell. I don't think it is. Huh. Weird. I guess you gotta make a boat or something? Uh, or maybe you learn to swim. No idea. You would think it'd be like a drowning animation or something. I guess not. Just face the black. Uh, what's over here? Wasn't there like a fishing day or something? I already passed it though, I think. And those are level 20, so I'll probably run away from those people. Ah, run away. You guys can just like walk past. You know, these guys are living over here. I assume they just that's their daily commute to this to the town. Just walk past those level 20 bunnies. Not scare them at all? Really? Go here? No. Can't, can't go in there. I assume. Oh, this is where I think. Wow, this is where the game started, actually. This is where it came in from the port, I guess. Amazing. Uh, no one here. I thought I saw someone. Oh, they disappeared, I think. I don't know. Oh, there's a chest here, though. You got money. Oh, that's good. It's great, actually. Also, something over there. I don't know if that's a thing. Is that like just for, you know, scenery? Or is that a real place you can go to? I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. There's some people. Who are you? Are you a spy for the Duvos Empire? Yes. Huh? Just I'm here to like infiltrate this town and Fisher. destroy you all. How did you find me? I always try to stay inconspicuous, you know. All these, I guess, I guess all these dudes, you know, I saw them in the in the main menu. They're all part of the same group, I guess. So the Hulu brothers, what was it? Rock paper scissors. Why not? I lose some stamina though. Hiya! I win. How about hiya? I win. Oh yeah? How about that? I win again. I'm so good. Just pick the same thing three in a row. Mind games. Hmm. Oh, the bunnies are not... I guess they're not hostile. If you don't attack them? I guess not. They're level 20 though. Like, very scary. I guess this is a bus stop. <laughs> it's like it's a real bus stop. You just got wait here, and the bus eventually comes in. Huh. Do -do -do. The sun's going down. It's a very big place. I imagine. Well, you are probably more. You'd be more inclined to explore more if you have like a vehicle of some sort. Cause this is a lot of walking. You know, there's a lot of walking. I have to like walk back. I think as well. Touch it. Gather. It's just a plant fiber. And a smug caterpillar. Why is the why is the caterpillar so smug? I assume you use it for fishing, maybe, right? Is that what it is? I think that's oh here's some poop. Ah yes. Poop. Hmm. Take smell take in the fumes. There's even some flies in it. Ugh. Anyway, put it in my pocket. <laughs> just put it in my pocket real quick. What's over here? Hello? Who are you? Just random Taurus. I've been ruined dying for years, and the hazard runs around the port. I've been the most interesting I've ever seen. It, amazing. Yeah, paper meta never fails. I believe that the rock, paper, scissors thing. Isn't there like a thing where. Can I break this? No. That's just, yeah, part of this. You can't like break stuff in the world. But I believe there's a meta. There's actual real meta in real life. I believe the, the rock, I believe, is like. Uh, OP, you know, is the idea. Even though the idea of rock paper scissors is like it's supposed to be, you know, you only got three choices and everything. But for some reason, I think I read somewhere like 
You just choose rock every time, and then you win, is the idea. Or does it, or maybe, well, or is the meta like everyone would choose rock, and therefore you choose paper instead? Is that how it works? I don't know, I can't remember exactly what the meta is. Anyway. Yeah, I finally got some poop. Oh, I think I already had enough poop, right? I don't know. I think I already got enough poop. Already. I remember you didn't. Eh, whatever. Stand on the water trial. Good. More poop. Good. Got some seas as well. Is that how it works? I mean, I guess you... I mean, that's the point of seas, I guess. Like... Like, uh... What's the word? Like, that's the way that seas are genetically... Evolved? I don't know how to say it, but... You know, the purpose of seeds, you know? The, the reason why plants have the, the seeds that they do is that because they're meant to propagate, you know, prop, prop, propagate, propagate after like an animal eats it, right? And then they poop it in the ground and then the tree forms, you know, after like a hundred years. That's how it works. At least in nature. I don't know. I can go in there, but whatever. Here's... Like, you know, the idea of, like, sifting through, like, poop just to find some seeds. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I didn't know the, the main character. You know, the, the character I've been playing as is... Is that thorough. I didn't know they were so thorough. Got some apple slices. Good. Hmm. Might as well go to the ruins. I still have some stamina left, so I might as well go in here. And uh, hopefully get some more power stones. I'm thinking I need to get some more power stones, right? So in order to find some power stones, probably I'll use a relic scanner. Over here, okay, something over here. Scan it. And then uh, attack. Attack rock. Rock must die. Die, rock. Die. <laughs> oh, I got a fan. Good. Anything else around here? Hello? We're over here. Okay. Or maybe go over there, actually. And, you know, more of this. I don't know. I, I, kinda, I feel like I'm running out of things to say, but, you know, this is just. Yeah, this, it's a video game. Video game. There you go, Power Stones. One Power Stone anyway. Wasn't there like a game called Power Stone or something? I feel like people praise it really highly. It's like this like... I guess uh... Battle game? You know, 3D action brawler game? You usually play with like other people? And you go around gathering power stones. That's why it's called power stone. And then you win if you just murder everybody. I got a galloping horse piece. Good. Hmm. That's okay. Uh, in my first Genshin video, I was so negative and pessimistic. Was I? <laughs> just, I don't remember. Well, I guess I'm still playing Genshin Impact. Was I negative and pessimistic? I was mostly... Well, mostly it's because, you know... I mean, I played gadget games before, right? I, ironically, actually, I remember in my Genshin Impact video, I think I was actually... being more nice to it, actually. I don't know. Because I remember there's a whole controversy about... it, like, being a ripoff of Breath of the Wild, and a bunch of people who are, like... you know, not really used to gadget games in general. So, like, I was kind of explaining, like, you know... It is what it is, and stuff like that. And people who don't really play gadget games, I can understand why they wouldn't like it. But to me, a veteran, you know, of like free-to-play games, I understand how the game works. And so, I temper my expect expectations. So it's more fair, you know? 
Ironically, I don't hear anyone talking about whether or not it's a ripoff of like Breath of the Wild anymore. I feel like that's just not a thing anymore. It used to be, I feel like everybody just talked about, oh, it's Breath of the Wild, <laughs> it's a bad Chinese copy, you know, counterfeit game. Everybody just ignore it. it's a bad game, but like, again, ironic, I feel like, you know, I, I don't know. I guess with people who actually play the game, you know, they, they like it, I guess. And there's no, I don't have any, mostly nothing bad to say necessarily, but I always say with the opposite side, you know, like everybody hates Genshin Impact. Is the idea, and like I was actually giving it a fair criticism. I don't know. Anyway, but you know, I don't want to. I mean, again, I don't want to defend it necessarily. It's like, oh, Mihoyo does nothing bad ever. You know, that's not. Well, I don't know. That's just not how I. Sp oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Oops. I ran out of stamina. I guess, and they just died, or or maybe it's because oh, because uh, it's too late. The nighttime, I guess, was too late or whatever. The nighttime was too late. I don't say that right, but you know, it's the end of the day, so my character just collapsed, I guess. Whatever, <laughs> you know, sleep on the ground, that's fine. Anyway, I was gonna say though, like, you know, I, I guess that's just how I am in general. You know, I don't know. I don't like, I'm not the type of person that hypes up games that's like, oh, this is the best game ever. I'm this is so great. Having the time of my life, you know? I don't do that, I guess. I'm just always just passively... Um... Uh... I don't know what the word is, but... Cynical, maybe? That's not the right word. It's not cynical. I don't know. Wary? It's, it's hard for me to just say something's the best thing ever, and then I love it for all of time. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm very skeptical, I guess. Maybe that's the word. I don't know. I, that's just kind of how I am, though. I don't know. Make the axe. I got a bronze axe. It's very green. Good. It's funny, actually. In other video games, bronze, like, it's, it's a brown, you know? When you make, like, a brown, like, a bronze anything. But this game is actually true to life. It's actually a little green. Which, I don't know. Is it, like, is bronze green? I guess it is. Greenish? That's something to do with, like, the... Oxygen, I think. I don't know. I don't know, what, I don't know what I'm talking about, but okay. okay. Well, we can like we can break these trees now. Amazing. Destroy nature. Destroy all of nature. Turn nature into our image. Anyway. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, like, actually, I felt like I was actually more uh, optimistic, actually, for Genshin Impact. When I made my video. I mean, it's very popular. Like, I, what was it? Like, it, it's already made, like, like a billion dollars or something. I can't remember exactly how much, but someone, someone put out, like, a, a revenue thing for, like, how much Genshin Impact made just for mobile. Not even including all the other versions of Genshin Impact. And they made a lot of money, so... Not like I'm saying it's a dead game, it's just like, it's... Again. You gotta understand what kind of game it is. Because I always see, like, people complaining about how, like, oh... I rushed through all the content, now I'm bored, you know? Why can't they just increase the resin or something? I don't know. Which I guess, ah, uh, whatever, that's a fair complaint, I guess, but... You have to understand what kind of game it is. It's a type of game where they kind of, like, drip feed you stuff, right? It's like any kind of, like, mobile gacha game. So you gotta play it like that. I feel like overall, though, it is better than your typical mobile game. Especially, you know, I mean, if you ever play any, any anime gacha games in general, I feel like just in general, like anime gacha games in particular, overall, ha are a better quality than your typical, like, you know, mobile game on... on the Apple Store or, like, Google Play Store or whatever. Because a lot of them are very predatory, you know? People say that Genshin Impact is, is like, predatory. And I guess sort of sort it is, you know, it comes with the genre, but it, they're even worse games, you know, that, like, make you pay, like, play more of the game. And they make a ton of money, so... Uh, the way worse types of, uh... pay models out there. That really make you addicted, you know, to the game and everything, and then... 
And by the way, you should you could pay like five bucks to get like ten stamina. You can play a little bit more, you know, and that's how they make a million bajillion dollars. Our Risa, they don't want people to burn out, even where whales can't refresh res as much as they want. Yeah, and that's uh I mean that's the idea, right? That's the whole point. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know what the correct balance would be. To be honest, I'm not a game designer, and especially not a mobile. Like, I don't really understand, like, how it works exactly from, like, a mobile game design standpoint. But yeah, if they literally, like, gave you everything right from the start, you'll get really bored, right? That's the idea. That's why I don't have... Because I always say, like, don't rush the content, you know? Just take it very slowly. Like, there's no rush, especially for like, a single-player, like, type of game. But people do. You know, people just rush it. It's like... Now I'm bored. You know, it's like, of course you're bored. You, you did everything. You're not supposed to do everything right away. You're supposed to like, you know, play a little bit at a time. Not like, do it all at once. Anyway. That's why, well, I don't know, maybe it's probably the vocal minority, I guess. Because I always say people say they complain, but you know, it's not everybody can play. A lot of people don't really like... I imagine like in any kind of video game, not everybody uh, goes to like a website to talk about the game, you know? So that's already a minority. And even... A further minority is people who complain about the game as they played, I guess. I don't know. I feel that that's also a minority. Unless the game's really bad, I guess, but... That in itself is kind of like a minority, too. Um... Half that, I guess. I can't use it, though, for myself. But I can give it to Emily. Hello, Emily, get it back here! I'm gonna give you your, like, poop box. Hello! Hello. Actually, how do I... I gotta harvest it? Oh, I gotta harvest it first, right? Okay. I think, yeah, she mentioned to use the, the actual, yeah. I don't give her the uh, planet box. We actually have to use it. Okay, so that's what you do. So you put it here. Uh, put it here, maybe. Over here. Mm, I put it over here, actually. So it's like, or can I, like, put it outside? Oh, I can't. Okay, I have to put it in my property. All right, uh, put it over here, actually. And this is, like, in the front. Over there. Okay, so planting tutorial. We'll check this term status, equip the seed, plant it. Okay. Hmm. Nah, I don't have a watering can. Do I like need a watering can or something? I don't know if I do. I do have some plants. I think she gave me some plants for or some seeds or whatever. Uh that's also why they have like eight layers of RNG to artifacts. You have something to upgrade, yeah. It's a big time sink. I mean that's what it is. That's literally what it is. Oh, I have no storage? Oh, over here. I can put stuff over here as well. Alright. Let's see. I have some seeds. I have the poop seeds. But didn't she also give me like normal seeds as well? Yeah, these seeds, I think. And what else? Did I, she gave me something else? She gave me some fertilizer too, right? I think. Am I crazy? No, there's fertilizer. Wheat seeds. Okay. So. Oop. Oh, only one? Oh, okay, I thought it was like, you know, per square. I mean, it is like one big square, but you know, like one small square per planter box. But I guess that's not it. That's not the case. I could put some fertilizer. Oop. There you go. Can I just stack the fertilizer? I don't know if you can. I don't know if you should. I don't know if that's how it works, but... Yeah, this is two days, which is weird, I guess. Yeah, put everything away. I keep pressing cancel. No, that's not what I want. No, I can't. Oh, yeah, because I have to actually put it in the thing. I know, it's weird because if you take a item out of the... Out of the storage, it doesn't count as, like, auto-sort, I guess. Oh, my stamina's gone. Oh, my, oh, my stamina. Well, since all my stamina is out, let's uh, explore a little bit. Let's see. So, even more exploring. Who are you? Hey, oh, talk to me. You're the new builder. You're the new builder. <laughs> I'd love to stop and chat. Tea, cake and all. But I'm busy. So, good day. Good day. Good day, sir. Okay, he's busy, apparently. It's pretty, I can't punch him because I have no stamina. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. I don't know, anything else new to look at? The map. I level up my skills. Mmm, sure. Level up this. Boop, pop. 
guard, attack, toughness. Let's um just put everything into attack. Just like I don't care. Just maximum attack. All right. Let's see here. Um. Oh yeah, I want to look the map. That's what I want to do initially. Map. Just to see if anything else I haven't done yet. Hmm. There's a bunch of like quests, I guess. Tree farm. Sophie's ranch. Is there like a different? I mean, there's there's different like uh, competing workshops, right? Like, I wonder where uh, Higgins is like stuff is at. I'm not sure. He's like my rival, right? You know, I'll check the commissions actually. Any commissions at the guild that I can do? Let's see. Seven iron bars. I don't have any iron. I don't know how to make iron bars. Three bronze bars? Maybe. What about you? Two small chairs. Mm, I don't know how to make chairs, <laughs> to be honest. Or do I just need wood? Do I need wood for that? Mm. Which was the better reward? 186? 199? That gives more money. Mm. I do like money. I don't know how to make small chairs, though. I'm gonna accept it anyway. I think you make small chairs. I think the game said that you can just sell stuff directly. I wonder how you do that. How do you like sell things like just directly? I don't know. Hello. I don't know how to say his name by the way. Django? I know there's a- was there like a movie called like Django Unchained or something? I never- I don't know anything about it. I just heard the name. Oh, I don't- I never know how to pronounce his name. I want to say Dango. Dango. Dango Daiko Zoku. Try this. It's on me this time. It's on me this time. Okay, gave me some juice. What does it do? Does it give me stamina? Because I, I do need some stamina. Uh, no, it's just a defense buff. I mean, can I sell it? <laughs> you know, can I just sell it? How do I sell things? Hmm? Hmm? Do you like go to a store or something? I was wondering if there's like a box I could put it in. I remember, you know, I never played Stardew Valley, but I've seen other people play it. And I, I remember you put like a. You just put stuff in the box and then they, yeah, they sells it automatically. But can I just sell it here maybe? Like from just a random store? Can't sell that worm apparently. Oh, you can sell this. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. I can sell these snake berries. Can I haggle the price? No, I don't think I can. I don't can't sell that worm though. This restaurant doesn't need this worm. Or this caterpillar. It's funny. If someone gave me like free juice, by the way, say, hey, have this on the house. And I just go back and sell it back to the restaurant. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. I'm like, nah, I want money instead. I prefer money. Hello. Lou. Umbrellas. Good to see you. I've got a problem here. You see, recently folks have been buying up a lot of umbrellas, and now I'm short on stock. I'm gonna try to make some, but well, I need materials. I need materials. materials. Nothing out of this world. Just some spines from the sea urchins you see lacing around the town. Do you think you can give me a hand? Okay, this really is like a side quest from like a typical MMO. RPG. Um, I guess, yeah, I remember sea urchins are the ones we killed before, so sure. Great. Remember, though, only the tougher looking urchins drop the spines as loot. As loot. <laughs> Specifically loot. Alright. Can I buy a shirt? I can buy this jacket. I should prefer this. Is it better? I assume it's better. So, you know what? I'll buy a shirt. Wow, amazing. Finally, my lifelong dream to buy a shirt. I'll, I guess I'll buy pants as well. Now, how do I wear this? Do I just, like, equip it somehow? Oh, lagged a little bit. Okay, good. And then why as well put these shorts? Why not? Okay, good. I'm a real adventurer. Good. I'm a real adventurer now. And I'm not wearing this just, you know, just... Some shirts and jeans. I have a real adventurer's uniform. Good. Finally. 
I have the, like the starter armor, like a typical MMO, you know? They always buy the, like a really bad armor in the, like the general store or something. So it's, it's like the really shitty leather armor, finally. Also, why is the why is the water yellow? Yeah, someone's been like using this as the as a toilet. Anyway. Whoop. All right. Uh, what am I doing? You know, I actually, you know, I have all, I, I, yeah, I already did all this stuff, so I should have enough materials. But let's see. Copper part, copper plank, copper plank. So, okay, what am I doing exactly? I don't know what I'm doing exactly. Um, a hardware plank. So I need, okay, how much do I need? I need five. Okay, that's a lot, actually. I don't think I can make five of them right now. Maybe? Oh, I can. Oh, never mind. No, no, I can. <laughs> I, I, I can't do math. So, no, I, need, I can make five of those. All right, five of those. And then, uh, copper pipe. So, copper pipe is, I assume, this. I need, uh, how much? What did it say? Three. I need three of those. Copper pipe. Three of those. Not max. I'm gonna use too much of my bronze, uh, bars. I'm making those. All right. So, I think I should have enough. Once those are completed, then I can focus on making the bridge, I assume. In or copper, we need a lot of bronze bars. And then also a lot of stone. So I think, I, well, we could just count our resources, I guess. So 96 stone and 15 tin and copper ore. Do I have enough of that? I don't know. I'm just sort it. So, and just check. So I have enough ore. Tin ore. I can't remember how much we need exactly. Double check that later. And how much stone do I have? 200 stone. So I think I have enough. How much, how much tin do I have again? It's the sunlight. Yeah, that's why I, yeah, I was talking about the water looking like pee. It's the sunlight. It looks like pee. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. I have 15. Okay, no, I think I have enough. So I just need to smelt the, the bronze bars in the stone furnace, like so. How much do I need? Don't check. <laughs> it's, um... I need like double actually. No, no, I might not have enough because I need double, right? I need. No, no, I need two. Oh no, I need one body and two heads. Oh, okay, I thought it was two bodies actually. Never mind. I thought it was like two bodies. No, it's two heads. So two heads. So it's not, I might need a little bit more copper. Not sure. Probably need more, but more hardwood as well. But uh, in order to make the body. Would be. Yeah. 15. 15. So can I make 15 of these bronze bars? I can make 10 at the moment. And then five more. So, all right. So that's why you would need like two stone furnaces. And, uh, in the book. I also need, yeah, uh, 10 of the bars and the bronze plates. And also need some bricks. I need another stone furnace, I feel like. Like, it's too much. Ah, whatever. We'll just go to sleep. Sleep. Fishing day. I don't have a rod, so... Everyone's just gonna have fun without me, because I don't have a rod. <laughs> I need to focus on doing all of this. Okay. Check status. Two days. It's unhappy though. What do I do? I need, it needs water, right? Maybe? I don't know how to put water. I don't have like a watering can, so. Oh. 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 Mm-hmm. Get that real quick. Okay. So, hardwood plank. Like so. And then, uh, copper pipe. There you go. Ah, did it. Amazing. Right, now I need to make the body. I'll make another head, but I'll make a body first. Bronze plates. A lot of bronze plates. Need uh, the silver cutter for that. I make five of them, right? Hmm? Oh, do I have now enough? Fishing day. Well, I can't do fishing day right now. I need five bronze plates. Hmm. 
do I not have enough bronze bars? Oh, fuel, oh, fuel depleted. That's what I, I was wondering why, you know, it wasn't making more. Because uh, the fuel was depleted. That's what it was. Okay, so, so I still need a lot more bronze bars. And then... Oh yeah, I need to smell stone, but I don't have enough. Okay, I have to wait for the bronze bars. Alright, well, that's it for now, I guess. Can I make a... Well, let's see. Can I make a fishing rod? I need, like, half of bars. Wild cocoon. Oh. I, if I find some wild cocoons, I can make a fishing rod and join the fishing day, I guess. If I really wanted to. Eh. 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 It just gives me rubber fruit, though. It doesn't give me, like... Yeah, this is give me like cocoons. I can keep kicking it forever and ever. Give me cocoon, come on. No. Oh, okay, that tree will give no more today. How about you? This is give me cocoon. No. I see some honey. What the hell was that? Oh, there you go. Wild Cocoon. Okay. I need one more, though. Oh, there you go. I think I got it. Might as well kick you some more for fun. Oh, okay. So you need a better axe for that one. That was a big tree, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That away. Put all of these away as well, if I can. Uh, oh, press the sort button so it's automatically sorted, maybe. No. It's weird because I do have, well, I mean, probably be that if I want to use the fishing rod, but. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird because all these different boxes, they have, I don't know, inventory management. Getting, getting some Zonky Zero vibes, but like, some stacks don't stack together automatically. You have to like manually put them together, which, uh, it doesn't count as like a global storage. Hey, what am I doing? I'll make a fishing rod. There you go. Beginner's fishing rod. Wow. I did it. Put it over here like so. So. Put the giant bridge away if possible. Don't need it right now. Okay, fishing. Where are we going fishing? <laughs> I don't know. I, just, I made this fishing rod for. Some of the, the games tell, told me to say fishing, apparently. I don't know how you even fish exactly. Uh, fishing spots there, but. Fishing day? Is that the fishing day? It's over there? Over there, I guess. So this way? Did someone say fishing? I see some giant ladybugs there. That's creepy. <laughs> Why is there giant ladybugs? What are you? Mr. Ladybug. Hmm. Some disturbing mobs. Alright, fishing, fishing, fishing. I assume over here. Let me check again. No, I keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah. Okay, no, no yeah, keep going. Sea urchin. I do need. I think I need to kill sea urchins, right? Yeah. But well, I don't want to waste my stamina, so I want to check out the fishing day thing. So why not? Well, it comes once a year, right? Hello, everybody. Bunch of NPCs all at once. It's a giant bear. Why is there a giant bear? Wow. Good. R R R. You got anything to say? What do we have here? Oh, a data disk. You know what it is? You want to know? This is actually related to how you can discover new diagrams for your workshop handbook. Music is kind of too loud. <laughs> I can't hear the dialogue. Ah, also, he's pushing away. Yeah, what are you doing? Our current constructs. Many relics in this world are beyond our current understanding, and you won't be able to build them. Not even in a hundred years. Good. That's 
That's where this data disk comes in. These data disks are located all around the world. They hold lots of useful information on the old relics. If you find any, give them to us and we'll help you research into these relics. The research effort will produce the diagrams that you need to build them. We're not miracle workers, so don't expect us to come up with things from scratch. But we do know a thing or two about how the components should fit together. Everybody's just clapping in the background. Anyway, just remember that if you find... Having this, like, important conversation, everyone's just... It's very distracting. This is why you don't have conversation like a big gathering. Ah, oh, this must be a piece of a relic. You can use our recovery machine in the research center to restore it to its original shape. It'll take data disks, but it should be pretty fast. Have fun. Have fun. Okay, well that's just like not really... It was not related to the fishing day, it's just, you know, random. Well, not random, but it's related to, I guess, the relics. You would like meet her at like a science center or something. Gift exchange? Hmm. I guess you trade fish or like... Fish objects, okay. But how do I even fish? I don't know. Participate. Pay two hundred dollars. Oh, I didn't mean to. I don't have the money, so never mind. I can't even do this. Can I at least fish, though. I guess I'll just, I'll just fish a little bit. That's it. Can't even participate in the tournament. Oh wow. Uh, when a fish bites, press the left mouse button. I don't, I don't have a left mouse button. I have a controller. Uh, but I assume press X. And then uh, this exclamation mark will display when a fish has taken your bait. Okay. You can catch a fish by taking this marker down to zero. The red circle represents the tension of the line. If it reaches the size of the bubble, the, blah, the line will break and the fish will escape. Move the joystick. Control the fishing rod to keep the bubble on the fish. When the angle is too large, the tension will turn red. When the bubble is on or near the fish, the tension will decrease. Hmm. This sounds, this sounds complicated. Uh, then click the thing to reel the fish in. So LT. What is LT? I'm o I, can only, I can only understand... PlayStation controls, you know? I grew up on the PlayStation. Uh, LT... Well, I mean, technically, the more modern PlayStations, don't, they don't use R1 to R, R2 anymore. I don't know they do. I don't know why that, I thought they didn't. Anyway. Um, LT. I actually don't know what LT is. Like, left trigger? So, one of the left... Is it R... Is it... Is it L1 or L2? Oh, the LS trigger. Bumper. Bumper is the other one, right? So I guess it's the LT or L2. <laughs> anyway. Okay. I still don't know exactly what you do, but sure. Oh. Clap, clap, clap. How do I... I don't know. Oh. Ah. Okay. I pressed the wrong button, I think. I don't know how to fish. <laughs> okay. It doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, you press the square button. Okay. I think that's what you do. You press the square button. I didn't say. There you go. Square button. I don't know. It said like LT or something. Nah. It's a square button. Oh, this was a big fish. Hard to reel in. Come on. Eh. Oh, a little bit more. Oh, no. Get, oh, get back here. There you go. A Goliath. Okay, that sells for a lot, I imagine. Oh, another one of these. I mean, you know, they sell for a lot, so... It's good to get one of these, I imagine. Now, this reminds me of fishing in Nier. <laughs> you know, this is, it reminds me of fishing in... In one of the first chapters in Near Replicant, you gotta, gotta, you gotta get like a what is it, shaman fish for Yolna, whatever. I still remember that moment. It's really frustrating because it turns out, I mean, there's like a fishing in the air. It's not really, I can't remember. I don't really remember if it's like how it was. I think there's a, I mean, like a lot of video games. Every video game has like a fishing mini game. I feel like almost always. 
But I remember fishing shaman fish for Yona in Near Replicant. It really sucked because the idea is you're supposed to fish for like, you know, your sister, I guess, in that game. Oh, Emperor go live. Apparently. Like the idea is supposed to get a shaman fish for your sister because she's sick or whatever. So, you know, you get some medicine for her. You, you fish for like shaman fish in a particular town, you know. And that's like the main quest. In order to progress in that quest, you need to find it. And so I spent like hours, I think. Or I don't know if it was hours, but like I spent a long time. Oh, what happened? That's weird. Yeah, blacked out for some reason. Um, I was gonna say I spent a long time in the in like a, a beach area, you know, like in front of the, uh, the town, and like it's, it's, it's like a port town, you know, like in front of like an area fishing for the shaman fish that Yona wanted. I spent a very very long time doing it. And I kept getting the wrong fish. I was like, I was wondering what I was doing wrong, you know? Like, maybe I was playing the minigame wrong or something, or... I can't remember what it was exactly, but... We gotta, like, you know, follow the where the fish is, you know? I gotta, like, understand the controls or something. I believe in the replicant version, because it was initially Japanese. There's one other thing in the Japanese version. You gotta press a different button than the, what the tutorial said. Because the way it worked is the one... The version I had was, like, a, you know, unofficial patch. So, like, uh, it just did, like, direct translation of... The English version and the buttons were reversed actually. You know how like circle and X are different in uh, Japanese and a lot of games because they mean different things. Ah, oh, the fish got away. Oh, well, fishing day finish. No more fishing. Okay, everyone's done. Oh, okay, bye. Okay, they're done. Had they're done. Good. Well, I got an emperor alive. Can I exchange it for something or or maybe it's for, if you do the tournament, I guess. Yeah, maybe you do the tournament, then you can actually exchange it for stuff. Anyway. I remember I kept fishing that one spot over and over and over again. Also, Papa Bear is very sad. I don't know what he's so sad about. But over and over again, and I couldn't get it. Until finally, as I've learned, you actually had to go to the beach to the side of the town. Not the main beach, that apparently isn't a beach, you know, near the port. But actually, you go to like a slightly different area to the side. And then, you know, I got the shaman fish in... In one, uh, in one fell swoop. So it's like really easy. I thought it was like really hard, you know? It kept like failing. Because I think the fishing area that I kept doing the, 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 the fishing thing with was where you get sharks or whatever, you know? Like really hard fishing, uh, or really hard fish that you don't, most, you're not supposed to get in the early game. You're supposed to find it, you know, in a different area this entire time. And so I wasted like so much of my game, you know, gameplay time. Just fishing at the wrong area. And I feel like it's infamous. I feel like a lot of people did the same thing in Replicant. I don't know. I wonder if that's gonna be a thing in the remake, you know? Is that, are they gonna keep that in the remake? People are gonna co complain about it. It's like, where do I fish? I keep fishing this one area. The game's too hard. And everybody quit. And that's why, you know, Near Replicant wasn't, or Near in general wasn't a very popular game because the fishing was too hard, I guess. Also, ow. I'm fucking dead. That's like a level 1 million balloon urchin. I, I, I guess I can't fight that one. I need some health. How many... Press the wrong button. Is there any... Uh, I think I can eat? I can't eat this fish? Raw fish? No? I can't eat this meat either. Spines. I need to fight those, right? The umbrellas? Urchins or whatever? Or did I fight the wrong ones? I don't know. Well, obviously you have two health, so... I guess I can't fight more, because I'll probably just die. Alright, everybody's just walking home. Can I sell this fish? I imagine you can sell this fish, right? This fish is like... It, it sells for a lot, you know? It's... At least comparatively, anyway. It sells for a good chunk. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little laggy, I feel like. Also, I'm dying, by the way. I'm just dying. I'm slowly dying. What's that? Simply the best. Over here. I don't know what this is. Simply the best? Higgins shop? Oh, Higgins workshop. Oh yeah, the guy that stole the commission. You know, he was he was the asshole. Furniture. Total tools. Can I buy like a different armor, I wonder? Oh, it's closed. Oh, I can't do anything right now. Because everything's closed. I gotta go back home.
I was thinking of like healing maybe, like buying some food to heal, but... But I might as well just go back home and sleep. After a, a good haul, you know? A good haul of like fishing. Oh. Also smell. Oh no! 19th this month is the day of the bright sun. Yeah, like, please prepare a present for the town and give it to Mayor Gale before the 18th. On the day of the holiday, we'll throw the presents from our airship. How about I don't? How about I just take all the presents myself and you get nothing, maybe. Uh, isn't everybody slowly dying if you think about it? I guess so. You know, we're, we're all subject to the law of thermodynamics or something. Or something like that? Which one was it? Like the, was it the third law? I don't know, anyway. Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, I have my uh, stuff, right? Yeah. Bronze bars. A fuel depleted again. It keeps depleting. Stop depleting. That'd be nice. That'd be great. It'd be great if you stop depleting your fuel. You keep like running out of bronze bars. Or rather, you know, running out of, like fuel to you know put the bronze bars into the storage. Fish. I like to sell the fish. Put it in my hot bar. I don't know if it matters, let's put it there. And what do I do? I need a spines, I think. Where was it? A lot of missions. I keep pressing I keep pressing the start button. It's not what's on the start button. Okay, I needed uh furniture maker, bridge, harvest, meet the shop owners, fixing the fence. I thought somebody needed like help with the urchins or something, like making more umbrellas. Or am I crazy? Oh, oh, mm. oh okay. No, no, there's a second page. Okay. Well, I actually need more spines. Oh, well, I can't do that yet, I guess. Anyway, I need small chairs as well. Did I? How do I make small chairs? Small chairs. Uh, oh, what do you wouldn't board? I have warm fur. They needed three, right? Was it three or two? Uh, too many things. Uh, too many quests. Too many side quests in this game. But that's the point. That's actually the point of this game. It's like all side quests. That's the idea. Uh, please bring it to me. Bring stories. I don't know. Let's see. So, is this done? I didn't mean to do that. Put it back. Okay. Uh, one day. Hmm. Is it done though? I don't know if it's done. Or will it rot away? I'm not sure. If I, like, take too long to, like, actually harvest it, somehow. Fishing day start. Another fishing day. I thought, a, you th you think a fishing day would be one day, because it's a fishing day. It's a fishing day, not a fishing week. But I guess I was wrong. Is that good? It's happy, okay. I just put fertilizer. That's all. I mean, I assume it's not ready to harvest, right? It looks like it's ready. It says one day. Is it one day until it dies or one day until... I don't know. One day until I actually can, like... Harvest it. Anyway, let's see here. So in order to make... I'm still doing this, by the way. I'm still, uh... So I'm gonna make, make a bunch of bronze plates, yeah. And I make... No, I can't make enough yet. But I can I guess I can start. You know, it's probably a good idea to just start now. Most likely. Alright. <laughs> I don't know. What do I do now? Um I mean there's a lot of things to do, but what do I feel like doing? I don't know. Armor, furniture maker. Oh yeah, I want to sell my fish. That's what. That's the biggest thing. Oh, yeah, I want to sell my fish. You want, you want to take my fish, by the way? So this sells for 52. 
Uh, but I'm like selling it for market price down? What? You're selling me at a loss? This is worth way more, huh? This is way worth more. Do I sell it? Maybe... Maybe if I sell like a fishing shop, it'd be worth more or something? I don't know. You, you guys want fish? Market price 86. What does that mean? I guess it's for everything. Is everything just less or something today? Maybe that's the case. I don't know. I guess everything. Maybe you have like, if you really want to like, you know, be efficient, maybe you will sell things at a particular time to maximize your profits, you know? Hmm. Yeah, 86%. I guess everything's 86%. Ah, whatever. I guess I'll sell it. Whatever. I wish I got more money out of it, though. Just what I needed. Some fish. Okay. I know this. Uh, yeah, okay. So they also have their own, like, money as well. Their wallet, I guess. So they, you can't just sell infinitely. Forever. There's, like, a slight economy to this, I guess. Uh, there's some money. Yeah. Buy these bare paints. Bare clothes. I want, like... Oh, plate armor? I could buy a diaper? <laughs> I could buy a diaper. Do you take care of babies in this game? That's weird to me. But maybe... Can you make little babies? Oh god. It's like, I don't know. Is there like a blacksmith around here? I can check the map again. Because that's the clothing, clothing shop. I want like a... Unless maybe it's not available yet, but... Like, I want, like, a real, like, blacksmith shop. Buy claymores or something. I don't know. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. There's tools. Post office. Clinic. Flower shop. Maybe it's, like, on the outskirts of the city instead of inside the city, but... Well, I wouldn't know. Western Plateau. A lot over here. A lot over here seems like ocean, though. So I guess a big part, big part of the map is like kind of like blocked off by water, you know. So maybe you do need like a build a ship or something. Eventually, you'll be able to explore a little bit more of the map. I assume that's it, though. Hmm. Unless there's more of the map, maybe like the different area. Otherwise, it doesn't seem like there's much else to the actual place. Fishing bridge. Anyway. I imagine, well, maybe you can, like, make your own... Like, maybe you can make your own, uh, armor, right? That's probably what it is. Like, you're, you're, I mean, you're, you're the blacksmith, right? You're the blacksmith that everybody counts on, so... You're the one that makes the plate armor. Not the other way around. I guess. Let's see here. Well, I mean, um... You can upgrade your work workshop, right? So... I assume you go over here to upgrade it. A&G Construction. Can I go inside here? Hello? Oh, I assume a cutscene maybe? Oh no, it's not a cutscene actually. It's just this. Alright. Mm -hmm. That's my house. That's the assembly station. Table. You unlock the wedding function, the children function. Okay, you can make children. Okay, I don't know. Uh, I can upgrade. What happens if I upgrade? Or how do I upgrade? No. Ah, but I need stuff. Okay. Hmm. You need like wooden boards, old parts, and a lot of money. I don't have enough money for that. But I guess it shows you like what you can make. And you make, you know, even more stuff, and even more and more and more. Okay. Well, I mean, they can't upgrade it right now, so never mind. Yeah, it's interesting, you know? Again, it's the whole idea, you know? I don't know what you call it, but like... It's like, you know, you you, 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 you make some stuff to, to get money, and then get money to make better stuff, and you make better stuff from the stuff that you got, you make maybe more stuff, and you know, make, 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 make all... Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Until you get better stuff, forever. 
Until you get bored, I guess. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Is it done? I don't. I still don't know if this is done yet or not. <coughs> mm, excuse. Uh, can I die of old age in this game? Otherwise, getting children seems kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder what happens. Do you just stay children forever? <laughs> I wonder. Is that how it works? Because I wonder if they actually ever grow up. I don't know. It's like The Sims, you know? It just becomes The Sims in that case. Hmm. Can I get a sword, by the way? I'll you know, make a sword, actually. It's a practice sword. Sure. Like a practice sword. I imagine that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, I like the oxy gloves, but. Alright, we'll put that over there. Uh, put the, I guess, put the boxing gloves away. It's a real sword. Wow. So glitchy. Because <laughs> the, the, game, the game needs to load the animations bit by bit, by the way. Is it just a two-hit combo? I like the punching better, to be honest. The punching would look cooler. And then to upgrade the practice sword, you need animal bones. I don't know about the spiked practice sword. You need resins, spines, and enhance okay, animal bones. I gotta kill some animals. I might as well go, look for, go, go find those urchins real quick, I guess. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know how to describe this game. I guess it's like, again, I mean, the obvious comparison is Harvest Moon, I guess, in terms of its overall themes. It's a little Breath of the Wild? Not really, though. Just from, you know, from a glance, it feels like Breath of the Wild, but it's not really. But, you know, it has like, some mobs, it's like an MMO, sort of, really. Of course, not really an MMO, because obviously, MMO means like multiplayer, but... You know, it's it's MMO in the sense like it's a, it's a, it's, it has a similar, very similar mechanics, but no like actual multiplayer, obviously. Unless there is, I don't know if there is, but I imagine not. It's like an MMO, except it's not. <laughs> but you know, you kill moms, you increase your skills, you craft things. You know, very similar to a lot of like I feel like a lot a lot of MMOs kind of do the very similar things. I mean, come on, look at this. This looks like MMO combat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> MMO combat. Wait, good. And I imagine, yeah, it's a big time seek as well. Also, that's weird. Did I like do uh, like a final combo, or whatever? It's weird. I'm pressing the button like this, right? And that's all it's doing. Is there like a final thrust or something? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Get the combat doesn't isn't really explained in this game. There's no. There's a tutorial for everything else, but not like combat tutorial, but I guess that's not really a focus of this game. Uh, so the RPG part of MMOs. Yeah, but well, the thing about RPGs is like... Because when I think of RPGs, I think of, you know, I don't know, Final Fantasy VII or something like that, I don't know. Because the RPGs, like classic RPGs, don't really have a lot of crafting either. At least, well, it depends on the game, I guess. Cause when I think of RPGs, I think of like, you know, there's no, there's no like mobs you go and fight. Or, dude, I don't know, I guess it depends. I don't know, what I'm, I'm trying to think of like, like a single player RPG where you like go up to a mob, you know, and it says level 10 turtle, you know? Cause I think I think of like, you know, just random encounters instead. But maybe some RPGs do that. I don't know. But when I think of an RPG as well, there's like a main story, you know, it's like, well, usually it's got like, save the world, you know, there's a big bad villain that's gonna destroy the world and everything. It's just a certain feeling, you know, like an RPG. In an MMO, it's much more, like in an MMO RPG, is much less, um, linear, I guess. You kind of just do whatever, you know, and your character, I mean, that's the biggest thing is like your character is like your own character, right? It's like you make the character instead of like, you're being like a specific main character that you play as. And the stories focus on them. In this, like in this game, for example, you're just like 
ambiguous builder, you know, and everyone just gives you side quests. And that's the main game. I don't know, anyway, um... I don't know how you describe it. I, I would think of like a new term for it, you know? There should be like a new term for this kind of thing. I don't know what you would call it, though. Because I, I, in my head, I always think like single player MMO. That's what it feels like. I don't know. It's my Because usually those are the type of MMOs I've played and it just feels like that. Anyway, um, I'm rambling. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I got the urchins. So, so I got some urchin spines. I wanted to give it to the guy with the umbrella. This is like, I'm just playing Genshin Impact. See, this is, I'm just playing Genshin Impact now. You know, just killing a bunch of mobs, got some materials. Now I got a side quest. Let's give it the side quest and get some primo gems, you know? That's how it works. It's not here though, unfortunately. Because the store is closed. Uh, where is he actually? I can look at the map, I guess. Level my skills. Increase attack. Increase attack. Can I increase attack? Can I not increase attack? Oh no, for this- okay, for some reason I thought I was in the- I thought- okay, I was on the aggressive stance. I thought I was on the sword. Kinda of weird, but anyway. Apply. Alright. I just wanted that. And also look at the map. Let's see here. Where is the dude? There's- oh. A lot of words. I can't read all that. Uh... Oh, to meet new people. Okay, that's the quest for meeting new people. I assume that's what it is. Where is he? Bridge. Meet new people. Uh, oh, over here. Oh, okay. It's, it's a question mark. Okay, I thought... Well, let's meet this person, though. I'm very manly furniture maker. So if you have any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. And since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this to get you started. Yeah, he's very manly. Good. When I think of a manly voice, though, you know, yeah, he sounds normal, I guess. But when I think manly, I think of, I think of this, you know. But very manly, yes. But I guess maybe that's wrong. <laughs> that's the over the top, I guess. It's not really manly. Or maybe like this, you know. I'm a hero. Yes, I'm very manly. Like that. It's more like heroic, though. Anyway, Mars, stop running. Before it rains again. Oops, I, accident I actually accidentally clicked before he was finished talking. I got an umbrella, though, or umbrella recipe, I guess. I can make umbrellas. I did it. I can make umbrellas. Good. All right. Do, 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 do. Hi. Hi. I can give you... Um, you want some meat? I'm you want my meat? Not sure if this is a gift or not. But I will put it in the pile. <laughs> okay. I'm sure the celebrations for the Day of the Bright Sun are a bit different in Barnabas. Here, the airship tradition has been going on for almost 40 years. I think it started when someone uh, jumped on the peach statue and started throwing cranberry candy at everyone. Okay, good. I did it. I gave raw meat. That's my present. That's the community present, I guess. It's like, uh, it's kind of like Secret Santa. Is that what it is? Except, you know, it's not gifted to anyone in particular. They're just gonna throw the presents around, I assume. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna finish this by the end of the stream, by the way. This is like, this is like too much. Still not done with this. Like the whole like bridge thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Zero days. Uh, what else do I need? I mean, uh, oh yeah, I need to make uh, bricks. I think. How much of bricks do I need? I need ninety six to make twelve. Okay, twelve in total. Twelve bricks over here. I assume. Yeah. Okay. So make twelve of these if possible. Max. I assume max. Maximum. Refuel. And then... 12 more? Or rather, 2 more. Oh, I need more wood if possible, so while I'm here, I might as well 
chop down some trees. Oh, this one is still... It still took damage when last time I chopped it a little bit. I guess. Rocks, good. Uh, I also get more stone. I have a lot of stone, though. I guess I don't really need stone, but I'll break it anyway. Let's see anything else? I guess that's good. I'll just go back. I'll go to sleep. I haven't really used up my stamina, though. I guess I should have went to the ruins. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I have... whatever. Go to sleep. I've achieved more than you did in three real life days, really? I feel like, uh, I don't know, maybe if you, did, if you didn't know what you were doing. Like, I mean, I mean, I imagine it's really easy to like, uh, get distracted actually. Because I've been following like mostly the main thing to do. Because, you know, I don't plan on playing the game too long, but... I guess if you, if you could definitely get super distracted by everything else, then yeah, you get nothing done because you just keep doing side quests forever, right? Because everybody, oh, you want this to do that, do that, and that, and that, you know, and they just get ne get nothing done. I guess is the idea. Hmm. Is it dying? I don't know if this is dead or like. It looks like it's dying. I can't tell. The game... I don't know what this means. I'm gonna rule it out. Remove crops? No, it says remove crops. It's like, oh, don't do this. Uh, I'm just gonna give it fertilizer, I guess. Maybe you'd be happy? It's happy now. Happy face. I assume that's a good thing. And then, uh... Sort everything. Confirm. Mm hmm this away as well. I have some bronze plates that I might as well use. Oh, just put it in my quick slot, please. Okay. Boop. And then... Boop. Alright. I think that's good. But now I need a bunch of... I need, uh, what does it say? Stone brick. Yeah. Still making those stone bricks. I gotta wait. I need some copper blades as well. What does it say? I need wooden boards too. I need a lot of things. Um, so copper blades. I need uh, three of those. So six bronze bars. So can I make those bronze or not bronze? Copper rather. Is it bronze or copper? Double check. <laughs> copper, right? Yeah, copper. So six copper bore, so copper bores, no, copper things. But five in total because, you know, I already have six, or I already have one in the bank. Okay. You know, might as well finish the quest where you meet everybody, I guess. I haven't really done that. You know, might as well meet the rest of the NPCs. Also, also random tourists, but I assume the tourist NPCs, are they just random? They're just like not real people, <laughs> you know? They're just random NPCs that spawn in and run everywhere. Okay. Like, I don't like, like, I keep going to the map, but I wish there was a map button. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if it's like a map hockey, but... On the controller anyway, you have to like open the menu every time. Okay, so you gotta meet this per- <clears throat> Meet this person. Meet that person. And I like- Oh, I can't have like multiple markers at once, I guess. Okay, well, let's meet this person over here first. I assume they're over here somewhere? It's a whole, like, uh, hiking expedition, I guess. On this tower. Hmm. Anyway. Eee! Is there fall damage? No. New person? Hello. I already met her, though, yeah. I already met you, Granny, but I'll meet you again. I remember fighting your, your birds. Hello! Nice to meet you. If you have any need 
the food items or seeds, you come right on by, you hear? Let me give you something as a welcome gift. Good, I got milk. Milk. So the other person will be on the other side over here, I assume. I'm just looking at the mini map. There's a mini map as it turns out. I don't look at it very often. But I guess there is a mini map. The map real quick. Look at the big map as well. Uh no, it's over here, okay. It's the other web. All the way around this way, I assume. Where where is this person? Hello? Where are you? There's Toby. Toby Fox, the person that made Undertale. He's right there. They're running away from me. Get back here. Stop running away. I will destroy you. Come on, it's just too fast. Why are they so fast? Die. Die. No, God, no. Okay, I'll just go back. I'll just go in, I guess. Hey, welcome to Portia. I'm pretty much Portia? Is that how you pronounce it? Come see me when you need to heal up or buy health items. Here, have these as a welcome gift. Did everybody did any did everybody else say Portia? I swear they said Portia before. But it's actually Portia or I don't know, anyway. Doctor's place. I don't know how this would help me. I guess you could buy potions or something. You know, health potions. To heal up. <sighs> da, 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 da. Oh, a bunch of horses. Can I ride on these horses? I guess not. It would let me go around faster, you know, in this map. If I had like a real horse. Right around, huh? Flying, oh, the flying, I was gonna say the flying piss. No, flying pigs. I don't know why I'm thinking of piss. I don't know. How do I glide, you know? So I'm just thinking of Genshin Impact now. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Is that it? Was that all the people I need to meet? I keep pressing start. Forever and ever, I'll never get used to this game, the pressing start. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I met everybody. It's like this over here, but that's the <clears throat> the main quest involving the bridge, I guess. Uh, hmm, I don't know. Hmm. I can check my missions. Meet and greet. Oh no! Okay, I did it. It says perfection. Okay, you did. Okay, I did. The, I already got the quest awards. I didn't notice actually. All right, I guess that's it. Uh, anything else? Furniture maker. Let me allow these little side quests, I guess. The farmer, actually, I, I guess this is technically like a, a main quest, actually. The whole Emily thing. Because I thought that was also like a side quest you do for Ram person. I talk to you, Toby. Never seen you before. Son of Martha. Oh yeah, I'm gonna destroy you at rock, paper, scissors. No, he's gonna choose paper, eh? How about paper again? Damn it. Oh yeah? Paper again. Oh yeah? Rock. Oh damn it. Paper again. Oh damn it, too good. What the heck? Uh rock. What the heck? This kid's cheating. Oh my god. What the Kill. Kill child. No. Why is it so good? Huh. People on the bus? Can I... It's funny, you just like... Stand in front of the bus and then you get on the bus. I don't think that, that's how it works in real life. You can't just like... Throw your body in front of the bus and then... 
make it stop to get on. Whee! Hmm. Kind of like a bad angle, to be honest, you know? I wish you could, like, I don't know, zoom out somehow, or like, maybe even the first person? I don't know. It's kind of stuck in this weird angle. <laughs> Where are we even going? I actually want to go back home. I think I'm going the different way, though. The, the, the bus is like turning all the way around. Okay, never mind then. I actually want to get off. Now, where's home again? I actually forgot. Where am I? Where am I going? Maybe that was home, actually. No, no, that, that was the correct way. Ah, whatever. Right. We'll just run. Running, I feel like it's faster. Is it? No, maybe not. When I'm running, it is faster, but eventually I run out of stamina, so never mind. Also, what? 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 There was a person walking there. Did they just like jump and they just teleport onto the bus? Somehow. That's how it works, I guess. I was gonna get back on the bus then. You can throw your body in front of the bus, and the other will come pick you up. The the other bus has funny lights on top. Yes. You know, I know in America you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to pay for that, the flashy light bus, which is weird. I don't think you pay for in the in Canada. Is that the case? I actually don't remember. Do you? I don't know. I just, I'm just reminded, you know, it's just weird in in, the, in America. You have to pay for the ambulance ride. The government doesn't cover it for you. I guess well, in Canada you do pay for it if uh, if it's non-serious, you know. If for whatever reason, like, you need an ambulance, but, like, it's, like, a false alarm or whatever, then you pay for it. But otherwise, I believe it's subsidized. But I could be wrong. I gotta look that up. I know in other countries it's not. I know in, um, in other countries, especially in Europe, I believe ambulances are free, actually. The ride is free. Like, the government pays for it. But yeah, but it's crazy, you know? You gotta pay, you know, you, you gotta pay for the hospital bill as well, America. It's crazy. You lose a leg? You gotta pay for it. At least, I guess, if your insurance doesn't cover for it, I guess. Hmm. I don't know where I'm going with this bus. Where's the bus going? I assume it's going the correct way. I need to go back home, right? That's what I want to do. But it seems to go randomly out to nowhere. This random woo woo wah person. Uh, Risa, you pay like 10 or 15 cents in your country, okay. Or 10, not cents, what was it? I can't read. What does that mean? So you do pay something rather, not cents. Why does they say cents? It's not cents, it's uh... Whatever the equivalent of dollars. 10 or 15. I actually don't know. I'm just enjoying a bus ride, by the way. I'm not doing anything. Um, and look at my map. I keep pressing wrong. Okay, I'm just gonna walk now. No, leave. Leave the bus. Leave the bus. Alright. I'm looking in the middle of nowhere. I'm like, I, I just accidentally missed my bus stop. And ended up somewhere else. I don't know where I am anymore. Map? Map pool? Map pool. Well, my home is like over there. Okay. All I really wanted to do was go back home so I can see if I can harvest the wheat. And then finish Amber's quest. Or not Amber's quest. I read the Amber Island thing. No, that's the, the location. Rather, uh, Emily. Emily's quest. The very beginning, actually. Kill sheep. Jump, 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 jump. It's alright. I got kind of reminds you of Genshin Impact when you think about it. You know the whole like cartoon style, or uh, what? What do you call it? The tune style? The 
you know, the Wind Waker style, you know? What do you call that again? I want to say... Hmm. I can't remember what it was called. The... I'm still thinking about it. I can't think of the word. <laughs> but, you know, there's a word for it. I remember when, you know, when Wind Waker came out and a lot of people didn't like it because of the of the style. But it's very timeless, you know? That's the that that's his like biggest uh advantage. Even when graphics get more real and more realistic, if you have like a particular aesthetic that's not meant to be like realistic, it's just more like a you know, like a cartoon or whatever, then it actually kinda lasts way longer than it is if it's like if it's dependent on like graphics and all that. But there you go, I can finally harvest it by the way. Yay, it is. We got a bunch of wheat. I gotta show Emily my wheat. Yes. I go I gotta like break into her house in the middle of the night and show her my wheat. Now, where is she? Is that her or I can't tell. Uh, I don't think that's her. That's somebody else. That's Ginger apparently. Must be the new builder. Gail's daughter. So nice to meet you. I'm Ginger. Hope you find our little town fitting. You look scary. Uh, why is she so scary? I don't know why. She has a very blank expression. Spar. Just kill her. Oh, what the heck? Oh, she, she's a real boxer. I thought... Well, she's only level 4, but... I thought she was like a nice lady. It's like, hey, hello, welcome. Oh, no, it's actually... Oh, okay. I, you, you don't fight Ginger herself. You fight, I guess, her dad. Okay. <laughs> Her dad had like a real boxing stance. Very similar hair, you know. You both have long hair, so I thought you were ginger. But no, it's just actually it's uh it's just her dad. I really thought, you know, she just somehow just got into her like business suit and got ready to fight or something. You think I'm you think I'm just a little girl? No. I can beat your ass, but no. It's just her dad. I assume? Uh, yeah, real combat, real Dark Souls combat right here. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Plus one relationship for beating up your dad. It, amazing. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why you could do that for fun, I guess. I wish you could use your weapons, though. You know, I wish you like use like real weapons. You just have the same combo, though. Anyway, I assume Emily's over here. I mean, she she says she was a neighbor, right? No, maybe this is not play. I see the quest icon, but hold on. Look the map again. Emily, where are you? Where are you, Emily? Is this it? This is the farmer. Yeah, this is the correct place, but she's not here. So, do I go inside? No, it's not open. So, okay. Can I just wait here? Just wait here, is she? You know, just stand in front of her house. The entire night until she comes outside as I stand here. The entire time. No, I can't do that. I don't think I can do that. Because my character passes out at a particular time. I think. Or, well, it's 23. It says 23. It's a 24 hour clock. Hmm. Oh, that's Okay, I keep thinking that's Emily. That's not Emily. I was gonna say though, can I actually let my characters just, just like... I mean, they're gonna teleport back to the home anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. is when your character passes out. Hmm. I'm still thinking of the Wind Waker style. What was that Wind Waker? Oh, the commission is about to expire, it's not great. What wing breaker? There's a word for it. I remember thinking. I remember like thinking about it before, and I couldn't think of it. And I thought of it later, and then I forgot it again. I can just look it up. <laughs> you know, I can just look it. I could Google it. You know, I have the power of the internet. I'm gonna look it up right now. Wind Waker. I don't know why I'm, I'm so stuck on that. Wind Waker. Cell shaded, that's what it's called. Cell shaded. Uh, I don't know if this game is exactly cell shaded though. I can't tell. I don't know what cell like cell shaded means like, you know, like it gets rid of most of the highlights and lowlights or whatever, I think. It makes the art like very simple, but you know. 
but obviously like a has a particular cell to it. But yeah, cell shader. I mean, that's what Genshin Impact is, is as well. I think for the most part. Yeah, I need a stone brick. Can I get the stone brick actually? I have six stone bricks. I thought I got more though. Can I? I thought I crafted more stone bricks. Not here though. Unless maybe it's in my inventory, my storage area. Sort. Got fourteen. Um. I thought I have, I have any fifteen, right? Is there like one stone, like one stone brick I'm not seeing here in my inventory? Like I forgot where it is. Can't see it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I needed more. Well, let's see. Um. No. Uh, no. No. Place. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one. 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 No, I had enough. Okay. I thought I needed more. Maybe I, I had two extra. That's what it was. There you go. I still need to build one more bridge head. I don't know if I'll be able to do this, finish this, but I guess I'll try. I need copper pipe and okay. Um hardwood plank. So make a hardwood plank, I need five of these. I can only make four though. Hmm, because I need more hardwood. I gotta cut down some trees real quick. What's a big tree over there? Go, 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 go. Chop, chop, chop. If nothing else, you know, the, the last thing I'll do, because I'm probably going to end soon, but the last thing I'll do is maybe make the bridge, assuming I have enough time to do so. And that'll be that, you know? That'll be, that'll be my time, my time with my time at Portia, I guess. Is that the... or Portia? Is Portia or Portia? I don't even know anymore. Okay. That should be it. So five of those. And how do I make the... Copper pipe again? Copper pipe. Copper bars. And I need, like, how much again? Three of them. And, you know, I can make exactly three. Good. Okay, there you go. So that should be it. Alright. Yeah. I'll put everything else away. Yeah. All of it away. Put uh, this away, put that away, if possible. <laughs> it's zonkeys. It's again, zonky zero all over again. Um. It's like, I don't have no space or everything. <laughs> yeah. I just, just like, I don't know, put it over here. Let's put it in my pockets real quick. Okay. And also, yeah, take the bridge out as well. Probably need it soon. All right. While we wait for that, I guess I'll check the mail. Town Hall, as you know, we currently don't have an active barber shop in town. Ever since Sanwa was mocked for his color blindness during the hair cutting competition. Well, that's ironic. <laughs> I remember there was a, as I said before, there was a negative Steam review about someone being colorblind. Huh. Anyway, well, he's never recovered. At that time, would heal everything, but I was wrong. After recent time, I found that he's just as depressed as ever. As there's no other barber in town, I was hoping that someone could help Sanwa regain his confidence in times like these. We don't need to stand up and help each other. And I really don't want Gus cutting my hair anymore. <laughs> okay. You gotta, like, help someone be a barber, I guess. I mean, there was a barber shop. I guess we, it wasn't available yet. Until you do a quest, maybe. Also, oh no, I think I, I saw on the minimap. Was there someone here? Emily, maybe. Emily always, yeah, she always walks past my, my barn. Here. Wow. Wow. Result. I'm a believer now. Can I please order three of these planter boxes? Thank you. Yeah, because ultimately she wanted, yeah, she wanted more planter boxes. So I gotta make three of them. I can also just take this one as well. It's only two, but more stuff, I guess. Can I make more? Can I even, yeah, can I even make, I need more poop, you know? 
I need more poop. More wooden boards. And like, one more poop. Well, this is busy making wooden boards already, so... Oh, whatever. That's not really important right now. I just want to do the bridge first. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there's stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's go in here. I never checked the apartments. Can I go in here? Why not? Hello? Can I live in the apartments instead? I don't want to- I don't want to live in the farm. I don't live in the apartments. No? Anyone here? No one's here. <laughs> you know, no one's here really. Everyone's- yeah, everyone's busy doing their own thing. I guess. Can I steal their stuff? You know? This is like- well, this is not really an apartment actually. This is more like a- an inn, I guess. I assume maybe this is like where a bunch of tourists- like tourists stay? Maybe? Yeah, it's more like an inn. Not really apartment. It's a lie. Also, no one here, so I'm gonna leave. That's gonna be like a real apartment. You know, just knock on people's houses and say, "Hey, what's up?" And go in here. I said again, let's explore some. I never really go into the, all of the buildings, so a little bit more. Ooh, plate armor. Can I grab this real quick? I just wanna wear that. You know? No, it's not. No one here. Badge exchange. I don't have any badges. Uh, you can buy that, I guess, but you can't wear it, but I assume you can, like, put it in your house. It's just decoration. Ooh! Gacha. <laughs> no, well, not really. Uh, guy for playing the slots. Hmm. Okay. But, well, does it cost money? Oh, it costs money. Okay, I thought it costs. Okay, so you, you spend money here, you get badges, and use the badges to get prizes, I assume. I don't know how to play exactly, but I got three pickles. Wow, two night badges. Ah, yes. Just like press the buttons, I don't care. Just, just do it. I don't know if there's a way to time this or anything, but just... Yeah, it's good poop. No, that's not it. I get nothing from that. I don't know if it's like a timing thing, but I'm just pressing buttons. A two poop. That is nothing. It's nothing for me. Poop is like apparently, yeah, poop on the bar on the... On the left is just... X. It's nothing. It's just poop. I don't want your poop. I'm just playing slots. It's basically basically the gacha. Ooh? Mm hmm? Oh, okay. Got a bunch of uh, night badges. How much is that? 40? Alright. That's cool, I guess. Get a little bit more. No, just poop. It's always poop. Don't give me poop. Yeah, whatever. Can't buy anything of those badges? I have 42. Oh, I need a lot, actually. Yeah, you need you need a lot. <laughs> Get the best thing would be the night armor. 2,000. That's too much. I can't do I can't get that much. It's eating. Oh, yeah? I steal your bread. I eat it. Dine. Hmm, okay. Fruit salad. The menu is even the menu. I'm appetizer, the main course. Why are you so fancy? Um, today's special. Sure, grab that real quick. Yeah, this is just some, just some like, oh, I don't know. Um, so the barbecue meat. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Pumpkin pie. And some uh, a tart. Ordering too much is wasteful. What? I just want to order everything. All of the things. Come on. No. I don't know what this does. I, oh, yeah. It gives you stamina? Okay. I don't, I don't know. I just like felt like doing it. Even though it doesn't do anything for me. But I guess... Okay. So the idea is that... You know, you do your stuff. You use your stamina. You come back. 
you gotta get a schedule it when it's open, I guess. And then uh, you get your stamina back, and then you can do more things, I guess, is the idea. I guess if you can't make your own food, you know, you can't craft your own food, you can just die in there and spend money instead. Is what I assume you do? Yeah, this is neat. Wee. Flower shop? Hi. I haven't seen you around. You are? I am your doom. Do you see anything you like? All my flowers are. See anything I like, eh? No, um. Buy flowers, I guess? I don't know. I guess flowers. Oh, okay. So it's for, like, decoration as well. And also. You give it a withered branch, <laughs> okay? A symbol of separation. This looks like a cursed item. I don't know. It's like a, like a witch's curse. I assume you give flowers to people as well. More your times. Check the news. Uh, more news will be coming soon. Oh, nothing. No news. Does, does this town not have a journalist? I guess not. Closed. Mm. Simply the best. I don't know what simply the best is. Begins. Hmm. Spar. Can I fight him again? I'm not strong enough still, but I feel like... Maybe? How long? How long? He's level 11. No, did I beat him last time? I don't remember. I think I lost him last before, actually. Ow. 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 Stop it. Oh, someone's clapping, by the way. Haha. -ha. Very funny. People fight. Haha. -ha. Get kicked. Ah, damn it. Stop it. He kicked. He can't just. He can't just punch me during my combo. That's cheating. Ah, oh, man. I lost. Seriously? Oh, yeah. Rematch. Re rematch. Try again. I gotta just feed him, you know? He's the he's the he's the he's the evil guy or whatever, you know? He's your he's your like Gary in like Pokemon or something. He just acts very smug and says, smell you later. So I gotta cheese him like this. Dark Souls combat. <laughs> this is Dark Souls right here. Attack? Roll away. Attack? Roll away. If only you could parry, then it'll just be basically Dark Souls, you know? There you go. Punch him in the face. Kick him in the nuts. Did I win? I steal your gold. I kill you. I destroy you. Take all your items and then become the best builder in the in the town. That's how it works, right? Anyway, uh, uh let's see here. Let's go back to my place. Yeah. Jump. Jump. Jump it doesn't do anything. I just want to see if my materials are ready. Is it ready? Oh, still going. Three hours, eh? I could just sleep, you know. Make sure I have enough uh, fuel. Just, uh, you know? I just want to, like, finish this already, so I'm just gonna, like... Unless there's a way to... I wonder if there's a way to, um... Fast forward time? I don't know if there is. Oh. oh, there you go. Okay, that's what happens when you fail a commission. Okay, so there is a consequence to taking commission and then not completing it, I guess. That is the thing. As it turns out... Hi. So you're the new builder in town. I heard you're from Barnarok. It's a lot more humid here in Portia. Have you got used to the humidity here? No, go away. Health is the most important thing in life, right? Don't wait until you're sick. Why are you here? About it. Well, he's the guy that I'm supposed to do the commission for. Says prevention is the best cure. Maybe he came by because of that. Good, but still, eat some healthy foods. Good for the body. Good for the mind. A loco stew, milk, milk salmon, and salt. and salt. To make the creamy salmon stew. Sure, whatever, doctor. Whatever you say, doctor. Wait, don't hurt me. Die, die, Abler. 
Yeah, Portia, Portia. I don't know. I, I, heard, I heard him say Portia before. Then other characters might have said Portia. I don't know. I feel like it's not very cons consistent in that sense. Anyway, uh, oh, let me actually... No, it doesn't matter. Uh, just put these items away. Put them there. 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 And, um... What did I need? I need, oh yeah, the pipe. Did I? Yeah, okay. I did, I did make the pipe. Okay. I was wondering if I made the pipe or not, but I did. Okay. And then do that, and then do that. There you go. Ta-da! Okay. And now I probably need to place it down in the area that I need to place it down in. Make a little bridge, and I guess that allows you to go to an island. I was wondering, you know, there was like bodies of water that you couldn't really get past. So maybe not, sh well, maybe boats in the future, but maybe bridges as well. You know, bridges is the one that allows you to get past uh, rivers and whatnot. So those are the main gates of uh, progression, I assume, in this game. All right, place the stuff. And then place the stuff. Just like hammering into the air. That's how it works, right? It's easy. Just hammer the air and smoke comes out and then the whole thing just gets built. Good. Wow. Report to Angewan. I assume that's a secretary in the Commerce Guild. The one that was very flamboyant. Or at least, you know, the stereotypical flamboyant <laughs> gay guy, I'd be honest. <laughs> Or, I don't know, I don't know if he's gay. He could just be flamboyant, you know? He doesn't have to be gay, you know? He's just flamboyant. That's it. That's just, just, that's just on me and my prejudice, you see. Hello? There you are. Excellent work. Here's your payments. Money, yes. All right, we did it. Is that it? I assume that's it. There's not nothing else to do, I guess. Maybe you know, eventually there's gonna be more. You know, next day, like, hey, you want to do some this and that. Uh, the only other, I, I think, I say main quest. I assume it's a main quest because it's it's in yellow, right? That's why I assume it was this compared to like blue or something. No. Hmm. I don't know. Some are like this. This one's like a. A yellow pin, this one's like a green pin. I assume some are more important than the others, I guess. Anyway, you, you do more quests and stuff happens and whatnot, and you know, there's like days, you know, just like in Harvest Moon. It's a, again, a very slow burn game where sometimes you want to wait for things to happen, right? Certain days happen at certain times, and, and you have a lot, a, lot, a lot of like long term goals. You can marry somebody, I guess, just for the sake of it. I don't know. But there you go, I think that's it for me for this game. My time at Portia. It's, uh, you know, I just, I just want to try it out. Not really a game that I'll play long term, most likely. I don't know if I've returned this game, but I, I can see why it's an interesting game. Definitely if you like, you know, Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley, any kind of like long term, like crafting kind of game. I want to say like survival crafting, but it's not really survival, I guess. You don't need to survive necessarily. It's very casual. You know, you don't, you'll die. I guess you could get killed by the mobs or whatever, but it's not that big of a deal, I feel like. Uh, but yeah, I don't, know, I don't know how I feel about the story. Most likely it would be super casual. I can't say for sure, obviously, because I never like did much of the game. But I don't know if there's going to be like any like um, allusion to the whole fact that this is a post-apocalyptic world. I don't know if it gets any darker than this, but I don't imagine it to be the case. I think it's very lighthearted. So I don't think it gets like dark or anything. It's just it's just your crafting, your building. I guess if you like the mechanics, that's the biggest thing. If you enjoy the, the process itself, I think that's what you would get most out of this game, I feel like. There you go, I tried it out. It was okay. I'm, again, not really, because two, two reasons, you know, I'm not really that into the genre, but also it's kind of a long game, and so I, I'm already playing another long game, so, uh, like on my own time already, so I don't really have time to play this game too, and I don't know. Yeah, that, that's just me, but you know, again, I can see why people We'll get into this game. Just like a lot of those like crafting type games, I guess. Anyway. 
kill her. I kill everybody. You see, the ending of my game is that I kill everybody, you know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so murder, murder hobo. I think it's because of, I don't know, I think it's Skyrim. Like, any kind of, like, open world game, I'm like, I just want to murder everybody, I don't know. Just to, just to cause chaos. For some reason. It's, it's because, well, it's too peaceful, right? That's the idea. I think it's, that's the reason. It's too peaceful. There's no antagonist. There's no, like, monster to, like, attack everybody. So I want to be the monster, you know? I need to, I need to fill that role. So then there's, like, a hero to, to defeat me or something. I don't know. I just want, like, a, a plot. But there's no plot. So, uh, whatever. Anyway. I guess that's it. That, that, again, that'll be that for this game. Um, I don't, again, I don't know if I'll put it on YouTube. But just in case I do, I guess I'll just sign off here. So, like, I'll just say for YouTube, um... If you're on YouTube, then if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch, so check me out there if you're interested. I also do other playthroughs on the channel. You know, if you're interested, you can look for those if you want. Uh, more traditional playthroughs. Yeah, this one's like a first impressions kind of thing, but I usually finish my games, you know. If it's like a more like a linear kind of single player game, then I do go from beginning to end usually. And yeah, I just say thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.